What's up, kids? This is a special episode of Firing the Kids with Mark Norman. Before we get into this juicy ass podcast, Phoenix next week, we might be adding shows. We're almost sold out. Phoenix stand up live November 5th through the 7th. That is next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, with the boys here, myself, and a special guest. And then November 19th through the 21st, when Nashville Zanies. Also a special guest with these two boys as well. And then Boise, we almost sold out Boise, December 5th, Boise, Idaho. It's actually right outside, but you get the idea. That thing is almost sold out. A theater out there in Boise. Get your tickets at tfatk.com. Phoenix, you're on the clock. See you next week. Come on, Chan. Oh, I'm going to send you in the picture. I got to send you in the picture. (laughs) (laughs) I got to send you in the picture. You talking about when I was on that thick horse? Bruh, it It cracks me up. It hurt my feelings, though, because we're in Montana, and we decided to go horseback riding. You got to schedule it the day before, and they asked for everyone's, like, size and weight. Mm -hmm. My girl's like, what, about 240? I was like, (laughs) why would she do that to you? I I was like this. She was about 250. I went, give or take 10 pounds. (laughs) Is this the price is right? So the lady was like, okay, yeah, we should have a horse for him. So we get there. They pull out my son's horse, tiny little thing. Pull uh-huh. out my girl's normal horse. Mm-hmm. And they're like, where's Fridge at? I'm like, who the fuck's Fridge? <laughs> Dude, the thickest horse Stop you've it. ever seen walks out the back. Stop it. I was like, that's my horse. Like, that's Fridge. I was like, ah, fuck. Dude, Why just this big Fridge big. horse. Hey, did you get the pictures? I got it. Oh, and I, felt, I, felt, I felt bad for this horse, too, yeah. man. I didn't want to go too long on him. Uh-huh. And then they're like, yeah, I think, I think off. They're, like, they're like, I think your, your weights like affect, like he needs to pee. So if you just like let your legs go so he can pee a little, because you're right on his kidneys. Oh. So I, I let my legs go like this and just this fucking pipe of a dick comes folding out the side. That Mr. And Hand shit. Or dude, whatever the hell no, I, didn't, I didn't want to think about this big thing. ashy dick comes out the side <laughs> and just du- super chokers the ground the snow they don't put lotion on his dingling no why would they put lotion on his dingling because he's in montana it's snowing it's cold Here's i know thing, but he though. needs something no, it goes in it, it goes in and out though like oh. like you it's like does this, it like go in yeah in? it's like this huge thing and then full oh then is it like a in. sword in a sheath like it just comes yeah. out and then you put it back yeah. in. oh he's not oh. he doesn't oh. oh. just hang out with this what you're not circumcised that ain't what he's saying no because he got a helmet man no no, nope. I don't know. It's weird looking. Yeah, though. I don't know what he's talking about. So what are you talking about? Like a turtle? Like how a turtle goes in and out of his head? His I don't head? know what he does with that big stick, but it's not always hanging out. Why are we talking about horse? How old was that horse? Look at him. <laughs> the thing. Dude, I look like Bro, look at him just I look, I look like I look like <laughs> Dip Wheeler, dog, from Yellowstone. Brendan getting his book on. Look at that so hey. Hey. hey, yo, that's the way he's looking back. Hey. <laughs> Brent the Stallion, dog. Brent the Stallion. <laughs> Brent the Stallion, dog. Bro, look at him just living his best fucking life. <laughs> I'm a ball say it's big. Look bitch, at that, that bitch, horse is like, bitch, God, bitch, damn. damn, yeah. That's a thicky. They call that bitch Fridge. They call him Fridge. Fridge, Bro, damn. Fridge up, hose down. Fridge up. Fridge <laughs> I'm about to eat. He Fridge. said, I'm ready for Brendan's job, homie. <laughs> I came back up my I was sick of my my hair was Did getting it hurt my like way. your legs? Like no, it was while? dope. I was on oh, for about an hour. I don't know if it like no, maybe I. I said, "How long can somebody ride this horse?" She goes, "If it's a normal horse that does it, probably ten hours." I'm like ten, really, so, someone can be on the horse for ten hours. She goes, "If if the rider can take it, I, she goes, the horses can go damn near all night, but the riders usually it's ten hours in a break." Oh, because you my, weren't my chaf- shit was, were you chafing? Uh, just sore. But we got some thighs. Ten hours, dog. Yeah, I, there's no way. Well, think about back in the day in the Oregon Trail and shit. They're on there. That's why I was asking. I'm like, how yeah. long do people ride fucking horses for? Yeah, she's like, oh, hours. I'm like, this ain't for me. No. Nah. Did, did you live out your Yellowstone experience? Did you I do did. everything? But it was, it, think Yellowstone if there was a fucking blizzard. It was mm-hmm. so cold up there, dog. Yeah, you because when we booked it, yeah. well, I looked at the weather because my girl goes, let's go Montana because Yellowstone. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Let's not go to the beach and be warm. So she wanted to go to. Uh, oh, shout out, shout out, holla! So <laughs> look at her horse, looking all normal. So, I know, right? You got that big bitch in the back. Yeah, no, dude, <laughs> look at that damn you horse. Have it. That's me checking out her horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> like damn. Yeah, what the hell is Brendan looking? Damn, what that horse do? What's that horse do? Do but. Yeah, so she owned it. When we got there, it was there was like a snowstorm, so it was yeah. like negative seven during the day. At night, got down to negative fourteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's tough to do shit when it's that cold, man. But, but that, they're probably but, used to it. 
They're used, yeah. The, well, kind of, that that was the closest they've had this season. Well, that's the the cabin was dope. So like my dope. son loved. Oh, it. look at his horse. Yeah, yeah. his horse. Leah's a tiny little horse. Yeah. His horse name was Whiskey. Okay, oh, shout yeah. out to Pete. Look at him go. Was that your first time on a horse? Uh, yes, it was. Damn, are you serious? Yeah, I've never been on a horse. You guys, out there you guys been on horses? Off. Hell no, yeah, I ain't I been did. on a horse. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. scared. Well, I love. I, I like. I was all up on his nose. Like I love horses' noses, but I'm not like. I'm not like a big outdoors dude. Yeah, true. You don't go camping and shit. When I was a kid, I would, but I hate the cold, camping. so like it's triggering for me. Dude, I hate. So my like, girl, like I left Denver. I fucking hate the cold, dude. Yeah. So when we were there, my girl, like, are you having fun? Don't you want to go in the snow? I'm like. I grew up in this, so yeah. for me, it's like I don't like this. Isn't fun for me. Yeah, like it's triggered for whatever reason. It's triggering for me. The Did cold weather. Fun in the snow. He loved it. Yeah, but he loved it. But because it was, dude. So it would say four degrees, but then they would tell you it's it's four degrees, but it really feels like negative seven. So Tiger would be out there, and like we we had a guy teach how to shoot bow and arrows. I saw that. And so we were out there for like ten minutes. Then Tiger was like, "Hey, Dad, my hands are frozen." I was like, yeah. Yeah, we got to go inside. Yeah, it said 10 minutes. Frostbite. <laughs> you got frostbite? Bro, Dude, yeah. it was so, like, it's just a cold that you can't. Fucking... But I bet, I bet, you know, because of that cold, going inside to that, like, wooden cabin. Oh, shit, yeah, Oh, that had to, like, feel great. My whole thing was, like, starting the fire and oh, stoking look the at fire. You. It was dope. It was I was the Did fire you do the guy. Fire, so you could do the fire starter and then you throw the fire? Hell no. You know, I'm from Denver, dog. What are you, what are you fire starter? Well, yeah, I, how do you I'm do sorry, I'm in big bang. matches and I would, I'd get, uh, like, little twigs and you start yeah. with the little twigs yeah. and then build up to the big one. So I'd oh, start, shit. like, regular fire. That's a lot of oh, hard man. work for no reason. It was fun, though. But I'd wake up at, like, 4 a.m. Okay, I'd wake up at 4 a.m., throw that robe on. Ooh, go outside. Oh, you know they, they had a robe in your size. They had a robe my size. I mean, the arms were short, whatever. But uh, <laughs> I don't think that's your size. I would, I would make coffee. I'd go out and stare at the stars for a hot second. Look at you. Because the big sky, I'm telling you, the stars are like right here. Yeah. Oh, shit. And then I would get all the firewood, start it before everybody got up. It was Damn. dope. That shit feel like a movie a little bit. It was dope. No, right? Yeah. It was dope. But you would love it, Jim, because they, he says it's like the fly fish out there. He's like, if you're a fly fisher, you know the river we fly fish on because mm. it's literally the place to fly fish. It looks And beautiful. I was like, oh, let's go. He's like, too cold. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come back in the summer. There are certain fish that can handle that. Right? I mean, they all handle it, but it's just you can't catch them because it's frozen. So frozen. A lot, is, a lot is frozen over or they're super deep, too. So mm. they go. The deeper they go, the like less cold it is for them. I, guess? I think it's uh. No, it's, it gets colder. Right? Yeah, I now think it's cold. You gotta go to. Oh, this shit, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, watch I'll tell you what though, we were uh, learning how to shoot arrows and shit, and uh, I mentioned Cam Haynes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, they're like, oh, do you not shoot arrows? I'm like, no, some of my boys do, and I was even trying to name drop them. Like, like I didn't say Rogan. I go, my friend Joe's big into hunting, and then uh, my friend Cam. The guy's like Cam. He's our teacher. He goes Cam, like Cam Haynes. I go. Yeah, that's him. My boy Cam Haynes. I went because I was wearing the Cam Haynes boots. Oh, because Cam has boots from Under Armour, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize Cam is literally like the Kanye West of hunting. I had no clue. Really? You drop his name, they're like, you know Cam Haynes. I'm like, yeah, that's my boy. Like, Damn. no, I'm like, yeah, I'll text him right now. So I sent him a video of a shoe. I'm like, look, there he is. And Cam's like, oh hell yeah, because I put uh, Tiger turned a little Cam Haynes. Uh huh. Dude, once they found out I was friends with Cam Haynes, they treated you fun. different. Oh, when God. I saw the name, I thought it was a country singer. No, dude, he's he's like uh, I see what you he's like the that. best. Yeah. He's like, he's like one of the best bow hunters in the world. He's like an ultra marathon runner, just like oh, really? crazy marathon outdoor stuff. He got it. Like he, got he literally he's the guy. Like when there's like bow and arrow guys, he's the guy. So he can survive in the wild. Yeah, he's like, the like Steph, that, he's like that, Steph Curry of what's hunting. That, what's that guy? Bear Grylls. Oh, he just hunts. He hunts, but he also does like crazy marathons. He's the guy, though. He got a moose on his back. I don't think you got a moose on his back. No, I'm just saying, figuratively, like those would be uh, that'd be elk. That'd be a big be elk. Okay. he killed. Okay, but he's like the like. Would he cut the head off that damn thing? Cut the antlers off and then uh, dressed it in the field. Is Can an elk? Damn, thing? dude! Oh, we saw a moose, a straight up live shout moose. out to Rocky Bullwinkle. Shout out to moose, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Dude, you don't realize how big <laughs> mooses are till you get in, to see them in person. So I kept I showing Tiger videos of mooses at night because I showed mm -hmm. him the wildlife there. He's all into it. Yeah. And he goes, Papa, are there any mooses around here? I go, there are, but who knows where they're at. And then I told the dude, the bow and arrow dude, I go, hey, if there's a moose on property on the ranch, God the, the ranch at Rock Creek, I go, if you if you see a moose, will you call and uh, let us know? He goes, yeah. Next day at 2 o'clock, we're all chilling after God. eating. He goes, hey, we found a moose. They're up the, they're up the stream. So they come pick us up. We go, and we're like looking for the moose. We can't find it. Finally, this fucking moose, man, by the tree. I'm like, God damn. Look how. Like, First of all, what? they're 10 foot tall. You know that? 10 I, foot didn't, tall. I didn't know I did that. They don't tell you that in the course of 10 foot yeah. tall. And aggressive. 
What do you they're mean aggressive? aggressive? Fuck yeah. For they're, real? Yeah. Especially if they're like with their, their babies. Super oh, of aggressive. course. Yeah. But I'm saying like by themselves. They fuck people up. Dude. Okay. Yeah. People out there. And they out there killing them. For Wait, the, didn't that, the, the, uh, you know that uh, that nature show that it was on Netflix where they put these people out in the wild Planet by Earth? themselves? Um, alone? Damn, alone? Yeah. They, one of the dudes, I think he actually won it. He, I think he uh, killed a moose. Killed a moose. How? Bone arrow? Yeah, I think both. Yeah. You don't realize how big those mooses are until you get close to them. You're like, God damn. Yeah, that's scary. Like, we saw like elk, we saw like deer, and it's like, all right, whatever. You see a moose, you're like, holy fuck. It's different. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, this, they're so big. Yeah, oh, is so, that the, that's the guy, yeah? Bow and arrow, yeah. Yeah, bow and arrow. That's and that's bone. a moose, right? Yeah. Can so, you eat moose meat? Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, dude. Yeah, that's, he, he survived off yeah, that. Yeah, moose oh, meat. Oh, okay. moose meat? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Moose and elk. I didn't know people Elk's are the best meat in the world. Mm. So what what does moose taste like? Chicken? I've never had it. I feel like it I should be gamey, either. right? Yeah. But like, I, I like elk. people say gamey? Gamey, it's like, uh... It's hard to describe. It's like it doesn't a, taste as good as you would like. It actually tastes like almost like uh, the earth, kind of in a weird way. Ooh. Like livery, I would say. If you if you had liver, I never had liver. No, no liver. Like there's lot, the, 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 <laughs> sometimes the reason it's more gamey. Like there's a lot more nutrients. In it. Like an elk, like it's gamey. Like it's way better for you than say like beef you get from the store. Oh. like there's a ton of nutrients in elk. In elk, people. I mean, elk is like some well, of the best meat eat, in the world. All they eat is grass and shit. Yeah, there's no the hormones in it. There's no you know. Steroids, like it's all yeah. real shit. Man, Got it. Smoke elk, and that's what people eat. Is yeah, that big the, out here in LA? That's not big. Not out in LA, yeah. unless you're fucking friends with Rogan. He gives you like elk sausage all the time. I'm like, I guess I'll take this. Dude. I want uh. that. You, you wait, you elk, you ate elk before? Oh yeah. Is it from bad? Rogan? No, it's oh. delicious. Oh. But I want. I had elk in uh, Montana too. Damn, those are some elk eating motherfuckers. It's good <laughs> for you, man. <laughs> so, it? would you ever like hunt? You you not a big. I man. would hunt. Yeah, I would hunt. You know, my boys hunt, and I'm usually into the same shit as them. So I'm like, yeah, I'd be down for it. I got some friends in Texas that want to take me uh, shooting them damn uh, boar warthogs. Yeah, the javelinas the or boars, whatever right. the one that mess up See, their farm because it's year, and it's year round. Yeah. that they are able to do it they, because they have a problem though. Yeah, they have a problem with them like those, those boars that destroy land like yeah. farm land like and they mate like a motherfucker. So they produce a bunch of offspring. Mm-hmm. So it's like if they don't control Love it, that band, they by de- the way. they destroy. They destroy the land. Damn. So that's a little, but to me, I, it'd be dope to go like Cam. Obviously, he's the fucking Kanye West of hunting. But if you uh-huh. go with Cam, keep saying, and it. he kills that thing, and then you like dress it and then fucking eat it late at night. That'd be I heard. Th- I heard they don't dr- don't eat those things. Elk? Yeah, no. The oh the them damn the boars. boars. Wild pigs. No. Boars. Nah, because I had they boar just kill and leave them. I think. Yeah. yeah. But they, oh, they leave just them. leave them. I think it's tough meat. Some people eat them, but I, I don't think so. Like Tim, you have to like, like really Ken- prepare. It, Tim I Kennedy think. goes out of a fucking helicopter and shoots them down. Yeah, I've a, seen videos. Like they did on Batman. They did that on Batman. So you don't eat it. You don't eat it. Yeah, they just you just murking them out. Get them to stop fucking with the land. The pink one. I think I think I could do that. I think you know. I could kill. I I went boar hunting in Hawaii, and the problem is, is they showed me a baby one before we left, and it was cute as fuck. I went, I'm not killing that. So I was in the that? back and I'd make a lot of noise and they would turn around and be like, dude, quit making fucking noise. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my He's bad. You're trying to save, trying to save it on purpose. Yes, we got done. He goes, you know, this is the only trip we've ever had where we never shot a boar. I'm like, really? That's crazy. Because I was super loud. <laughs> what were you doing? What were you doing? I, want, I just was like, hey, are we good? I'm like, no, 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 like, no, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I want. I wanted to save the board. They <laughs> yeah. were so cute. Bro, I couldn't shoot. A, yeah, shoot a little one. How you go hunting and being a vigilante? You me the little one earlier, and we were like two fucking pit bulls that would hold them down. Then you got to take a knife and like cut their throats. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because yeah. they do it differently, right? In Hawaii, different. They have a dog grabs the boar, like one to take one side, one takes the other. Then you come up and you fucking. Slack. I love how that's like zero to, <laughs> that's zero to animal 100. cruelty is not zero to one zero to hundred. I'm like, damn, zero dog, to give me a gun. I'll shoot it from a distance, so I don't have to deal with it. Yeah, that's so crazy. Well, shit, I don't know. I, I can't do. And how long is hunting? Like, what, two hours? A movie? <laughs> no, <laughs> they, they, they go for days. Wait, days? That's why. Yeah, Cam, they, that's yeah, why they Cam, go on trips. That's why Cam Haynes in such good shape. He's gone for like six days, dog, to catch one moose, and they're burning like three thousand calories a day hiking, walking. Mm-hmm. Carrying all that equipment, man, it's that a real is, beast, dog. That is some shit. But Bro, we're we killing we their food. Try it one time, just man, to try I'm not trying it. that shit. It. I mean, we should try it, dude. man. Please, we, we gotta, gotta give it a for shot. For one, I don't like ice outside. I pay rent. All right. All right. Two, I mean, I'm not about to get no animals. Me, animals don't. Yeah, get where do they stay? Yeah, they sleep. That set up tents. Thank oh, you. Hell Thank no. you. And you think the mosquitoes Malik, gonna what, love your Malik, mask? Yeah. What, Malik, why are you dressed like you sell fake Yeezys? 
Why are you dressed like this right now? My man delivering stuff. Oh, yeah. He's delivering. Thank you, brother. But I, I don't like you how thought, he you, said you up. You thought we were going to dress up for Halloween, I huh? thought it was the Halloween yeah, episode. Thought, yeah. and <laughs> I got here and our boy Brian Johnson made the pumpkin. Yeah, I, I thought it was in spirit. Yeah. Then I saw y'all on King you, of you, Yeah, thing. you got it. You, you do. Got I, 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 I think it's a dope outfit. Yeah. I'd wear it anyway. Thank you. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, Tupac from Poetic Justice. Yeah, G, as soon as I got in your car, I was like, Tupac from Look at that. There it is. That's me. Oh, you knew it right away. Yeah, I knew it right away. I knew exactly Not me. I was like, yo, that's a dope outfit. You thought I had to go to work. Like, dog, like, yeah, me looks dope. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I'll wear that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate Especially it. Especially I got this fucking hipster mullet now. I know, I got, talk about it. Oh, well, what's yeah. up, dog? I, <laughs> no, I, got, Be- I got Beverly go. Hills in the top, Come West on. Hollywood it on the back. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, dog? Represent, represent. Up, swing, dog. swing your hair, Brendy. I know. <laughs> 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 he really did <laughs> <laughs> I look like an extra from Sons of Anarchy. Oh Sons yeah, Anarchy. shout out to Sons of Anarchy, Yo, baby. That was a good ass series. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Oh, we was just talking about it, watching a fight. Uh the UFC fight? Or are you no, talking you talking uh, about uh Tank? Tank and it's this Santa, Asian guy. Santa Cruz. Oh, Santa Cruz. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Leo Santa that. Cruz yeah, and yeah. Tank are fighting on Showtime pay per view only. Yes, uh sh- if you need a it, 30 day free membership, Showtime.com. <laughs> I, I, I'm I sorry I how you just, plug I, that yeah, in. Plug yeah. it. You plug always it. been this money. You always been this No, but they got, they got this, this Asian, Asian dude. dude. I was telling them about that, dog. Who's the Asian cat? I don't know. People Some, said that. It's like a, a they told a me tiny knockout. knockout. How do you say his name? Naoya? Naya Inui. Check Naya this out, Inui. He's Japanese. Naya Inui. 115. Yeah, and he, uh, they played him. They played his highlights during the Lomachenko and uh, uh, Lopez, Lopez fight. He's and I'm beast. like, yo, who is this guy? They was like, Chin Cousin. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Copy that. Is he, and is he on the undercard of Leo Santa Cruz? No, he's a main event. So top Oh, somewhere had, else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Top ring in Are Los you going to watch Tank and uh, of course, Leo? Of course. Who you got? Tank's his guy. Tank's your boy? Yeah. I, 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 I like Tank. I worry about his commitment issues. I'm, I'm a Leo Santa Cruz fan. Mm-hmm. I think Leo's more fundamentally sound. Maywood but he's just a little older. So I think... Yeah. Tank's a huge favorite, so it's not like I'm gonna bet you or anything. Nah, I'll do a friendly bet. Okay. But my boys, what's fucking, the, what's the friendly bet? What's the friendly bet? What's the friendly cool, bet? We can bet what's shoes. If, we can bet shoes if you want. Let's bet that's a friendly bet. Skip. Shoes is a friendly that's bet. A, that's a good friend. That's a favorite. But y'all, but y'all wear a, different sizes. No, no. Well, no, no. His, those, those. If you want to bet those, those are. I mean, did those you, which ones did you just get? Which ones did you just? I got the original off white J Jordan ones. The original, the the red and white. Yeah, yeah. And you put the green laces in. Y'all need it. Y'all need a bet. That's the shoe of Call me Christmas. Time. Call me Christmas. Let's and it go. took me three years to get them. Y'all. I know. Shout out to the three plug. fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> also, bro. I, oh, if you guys, well, I'm having. My, I mean, there's gonna be kids around, but sh- there's gonna be food. If you want to come over Halloween party at the crib, what kind of food you got? Can I wear the same pizza? Office? Wear that for sure. A lot okay. of pizza. What day is that? Saturday. Saturday. Oh, Saturday. I know. I'll keep Saturday, two o'clock. Question. Saturday, okay. two o'clock. I like that. Oh, yeah, you want to know? Early invited too. Early yeah. risers. Okay. Well, two o'clock because they're four years old, Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all do it early and shit, huh? Yeah, I'm a dad, man. You know? I'm a dad. I felt where you coming from. Know, yeah, we took like, a treat yeah. late. I get oh, it. Yeah, bro. What time should come over at nine? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, nine. It's a porn. If you come over at nine, I'll be in my underwear upstairs. You can still come over. Hell no, bro. bro. We just no, want a picture no, of you trying no, to wrestle. You do too many I sent you boys a picture of my. Because uh, I, bro, got, no. I got this LeBron James goat shirt just for Malik. Right. And I, I'm in my underwear and I got my hat on. I'm getting ready for Montana. I went, ready to go for Montana, boys, and sent it to them. He just in his underwear. I threw my phone I said, this is for you, Malik. You, I did not ask. I didn't. Ask, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I did not. I saw the shirt, but then it was like I clicked on. Like, what? How about the hoodies? I got us though. Oh yeah, yeah. They yeah, should be coming this week. I, yeah, yeah. Y'all got hoodies for me? He he did the but the Lakers thing. Don't worry about it. We'll it's talk a later. Laker thing. Shout bro. out to the Dodgers. You representing? How about them Dodgers? Seventeen yeah. years. Heard drought. the fireworks hard last night. Fireworks even in uh, Woodland Hills. Fucking da 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 da. Hard flex. Like Woodland a mother. F- <laughs> is that a flex? I guess it is. West Side oh, dump now. Yeah, so the valley's popping. Uh, <laughs> I love how you just figured it. <laughs> you, how was it by you? Oh, yeah. How was it? My girl goes. Thank you for telling me because I, I I posted on my Instagram. Will I'll you show, show it to you. me because I, I don't see social media. So my girl goes, man, it looks crazy where Chins. I go, he lives downtown. Downtown, mm-hmm. probably the worst place to live. Holy shit, that's dope. for that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, wait, hold on. I'll let you give me a hundred dollars. Yep, which yep. I lost by the way. Let's see it, Chin. Let's I'll show it. you the actual stuff though. So it started off like that, right? Not too crazy. Then it got like that. Where are they trying to go? Yeah, what are they doing? I, they're just trying to go inside. To where? To the, the city. Why? To downtown. I don't know. To destroy it. But the Dodgers aren't even down there. I they know. Don't it, dude, Dodgers it got crazy. don't live downtown. It's for Kobe. Oh, this is oh, shit. This is really, they're hitting my window with Hell fireworks. Yeah. I told you, you need to get out of there. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm done. 
Oh, December, you, you, I'm done. You are you moving to December? Yeah, I'm moving to December. Where are you moving to? Uh, I have no idea. Give us your address, dog. Oh, I actually might talk to you about a studio situation too. But check this out. And then, so people are burning out in front of the cops. Burning out right in front of. I saw this year. And it gets more packed. I know, right? <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> License plate F yeah. seven nine eight seven. Yeah, Jim snitching. <laughs> yeah, Jim snitching. <laughs> oh, they're just doing burnouts in front of the cops. Oh, oh shit! Really? What? Just for Damn. reference, look, here's here's what you got to understand is L.A. I found this out right when I came here. Mm -hmm. It's not a Laker town. It's not a Rams town. Oh, it's, it's a Dodger, Dodger town. Yep. I see yep. way more Dodgers, Dodgers winning is a big is yeah. a big 32 years. Uh, yeah. It's since 88. Yeah, it's a big 32 years. It's a mm -hmm. big fucking yeah, deal. Big well, you got to understand the Lakers came from Minnesota. Right. Yep. That's yeah. why they're called the Lakers. We don't have lakes here. Wow. Exactly. I didn't know that. Minneapolis. You know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar played on. Uh, That's why they're called the Lakers. Yeah, but the Dodgers came from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, that's Dodgers what I'm saying. The draft and the Dodgers. It's weird how they accept the Dodgers more than the Lakers because they've been yeah. around longer. The yeah, Dodgers yeah, but, have but, been here longer though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying the, the fact that baseball, like, the Angels. What about the Angels? That's Angels in that's Orange County. That's Orange County. Well, you don't. We that's don't. L.A., claim? bro. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. We're doing lead that out. They the changed way. it though, right? Angels changed from like. Orange County to, to LA. Anaheim, Anaheim and LA. Oh, Anaheim, Anaheim, yeah, yeah. Anaheim Angels. But you know what's weird is like the LA really doesn't accept the Rams, even though they they start off as the LA Rams. They got they got to warm up to St. LA. Louis, St. Louis came back. back. They got to warm up. Then we really don't we don't even care about the Chargers. I don't even know why they're here. The Los no, you, just no, not at all. They're, and their ticket sales are shit. <laughs> No, for, as Real far as football, it's a SC UCLA town. Correct, correct. Oh, and it. When football's popping, it's when the colleges are popping. Yeah. They haven't been good in forever. So, but it's it doesn't matter you, if you have to uh, go around LA and ask, what do you care about more, the Dodgers, Lakers, or the Rams? Mm -hmm. I bet overwhelmingly Dodgers. Oh, Man, yes. it was so many interviews on KTLA, uh, <laughs> just like you know, interviewing. You would think the like they don't care about the Lakers out here, but the Dodgers won. They had gear. We've already they, forgot they, about the Lakers. If we forgot like, no about one's it. talking about it. LeBron had to show, come back. He was like, "Hey, man, Dodgers, we did it." I was like, "I thought <laughs> was like, there was no parades or nothing for the Lakers. <laughs> Waiting for the Dodgers to come back. It's gonna be nuts." Damn. How about the my problem is the narrative. On ESPN was homeboy who got COVID, yeah. who's the life of the team. Oh, are you talking about Justin Turner? Yeah, they're Justin Turner. They're, they told him he had COVID in the eighth inning, yeah. and he, he was Take like, "Well, we're about to win the World Series." So they he still celebrated without a mask and a mask on. But instead of the narrative being that the Dodgers finally won a World Series in 32 years, the narrative on fucking woke left ESPN was. COVID, he's gonna infect the other guys. They should put him on a bus, took him home. It's like, bitch, that's the captain of the team. So here's the wild thing to me. Like, okay, so Cam Newton had got it, right? Yeah. yeah. Oral, but but no one else on the team got it? No, a couple of people else they other people got it. Other people well. got it, but Cam had to take off. And they came back, and he's way worse. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> according to y'all, oh, yeah, everybody's I was, I, according to you, I was about to say he's Superman, to superhero. Yeah. Well, Cam did. <laughs> Every, again, everybody's different. Everybody's different. <laughs> Hey, Cam, Cam got worse. You see how he is? You see? Cam got worse. <laughs> he was balling. Yeah, he was balling before COVID. Cam got he? worse. Yeah. My cardio got better. <laughs> Copy that. I see what you're saying. Uh, but yeah, that's so bizarre wet. scene during the Dodge celebration as Justin Turner returned to the field despite being told to isolate after testing positive for COVID 19 during the game. First I of all, why would they. Oh, eh. What? I guarantee you. <clears throat> If they asked the team, went, hey, you know, Justin just, you know, he, he tested hot for COVID <laughs> and we know we're going to win the World Series and he's the life of the team. Do you want him to go on a bus back to the hotel and miss the World Series finale? Or do you care if he's here? Every single one of those players, I'm like, oh, dude, yeah, we'll yeah, risk COVID. And he kissed his old lady. And he kissed his lady? Yep. Old lady. Hell yeah. That's how you got to respect your queen, dog. Uh, at any time. You win the World Series, come on. respect your queen. Dwight Howard respected his. Queen, uh, and she, and he got disrespected. <laughs> well, then, well, then he got disrespected, but still. But yeah, that's that's so ridiculous. If I'm the captain and I catch COVID, I'm not coming out there like that. Damn it, they I celebrate from afar, but I'm not getting off the field. Like, bro, yeah, you understand? This is 17 year old drop. Oh, you're not getting me out. You're not getting me out. I'm like, I'll stay over here. I'll I'll wear a mask or whatever. I'll ask the guys, but. I, I bet you most guys are like, no, we're healthy. We Especially because what was it a year or two ago when they made it to the world and got swept? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But but that's was asterisk, he on that was he on the team at the time? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, bro, let it them, was an asterisk against let the Houston. Man celebrate. The Houston. Fuck Astrid. yeah, let them celebrate. Yeah. Ask the team. See celebrate. what they want to do. Yeah. You know, and I mean, he played the game until the seventh inning. Eighth. Like it, eighth. eighth. Yeah. Like. 
It's, yeah. It would have been fine anyways. Yeah. He already contaminated everyone if he did. Why don't you shut, don't you shut down did? the whole damn game then? Yeah. yeah. If like, you're going to sh- shut down him, shut down the whole damn game. Shout out to the Tampa Bay's uh, manager. You look at like, like I'm Snail was oh, killing you? us. I'm Who like, was? I'm so th- Snail, the pitcher. He oh, like, I know. He was killing us. They pulled, they pulled That's what I'm saying. Shout out to the manager. Thank you, Kevin Cash. <laughs> Who you you Who's he working for? I was about to say, he was balling. Ball. He's like, let's go ahead and pull. <laughs> I was like, oh, tight move. That's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> we weren't winning. We wasn't doing anything. Uh, and then as soon as he hit. didn't see him brought in the other pitcher, Mookie Betts went off. off. Come on, man. Come on, Damn. bro. I was like, thank God. But How about Mookie Betts? Won a World Series with the uh, Boston Red Sox. And it came back. It was like, cool story. I'm going to make all this money with LA and win them a World Series. Yep. Rivals. Hey, shout out to Rondo. Oh, he did the yeah. same thing. Yeah, Boston, oh, Rondo, yeah. Boston, LA. Yeah, exactly. He did. Now, now, here's the thing. I was watching a lot of Sports Center this morning. Hold on, I can't get this. Where do you even get that outfit from? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's the truth. Because you, yeah, you're not getting that at the store. Yeah. You're not buying that. Who yeah, works, who'd you? Yeah, who'd you? Jump? What poor person <laughs> did you <laughs> jack yeah. their entire? Work well, outfit from. Well, I didn't jack. I didn't do anything. I don't. I don't want to say their names for legal reasons now, because you know they can get fired. Bro, your is legs so is legal. different. What do you mean? They bigger, right? You and John Jones have the same legs. Wait, Damn, is bro. That, is that a I've good, never really like a... full on because you always in pants and yeah, shit. Yeah, talk and, about like, it. And like you can tell you got little legs. In well, your not, pants. well, don't say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> these short. Why are your calves bigger than your thighs? Yeah, well, bro. No, like, what the hell? Wait, hold on, time. Wait, what are we? we I just never noticed your legs, dog. Well, no, they still there. You want some of mine? No, no, don't do that. Don't, Britt. For real, you want some of my thighs? Brent, I see you. My your thighs look yeah, like my draws. Yeah, we, not like my, we can help you out, bro. I didn't realize they were like that. What you, do you, mean? you look like you've been in a wheelchair since you were 18. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. That is fucked up. I was, I came here because I thought it was Halloween episode, and I went all in and it, I put lotion on my legs. Your costume should have been bigger legs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You this is fucked up. You said I should have dressed up as a calf muscle. That's what you thought. <laughs> no, cause no, cause His I did. First thought was a. Uh, you look like you look like man. Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump, <laughs> but decided just to start walking. Like, yeah, you got Lieutenant Dan legs, bro. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you got legs. So you say if I get up right now, it remind you of Lieutenant Dan. That's what you say. If I get up right now, it remind. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> damn it! I did a lot of squats. Don't do that. I did a lot of calf raises because I, I knew my epi- I knew my legs. Woo. I mean, you're, you got the most legit Halloween outfit I've seen. Well, yeah. thank, bro, this is a real postal. Uh, yeah, that oh, shit is yeah, legit. Yeah. Looks, yeah. That top is fly. Yeah, I'm thank not you. Mad yeah, look at the hat. Look at the hat. This is a real hat. Yeah, that shit's cool. Yeah, bro, I'm clean now. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it is a clean outfit. If dogs don't look down. Why you keep looking? No, stop. Stop. We're talking. We edit that out. We edit that out because my. No, we keep that in. This is a bullshit. Well, I, like I said, I was watching Sports Center. Oh, right? yeah, as you were saying, w- was uh, was uh, fireworks going off by your house? Of too? course, of course, it was it popping. It was probably were, but it, not for long. No, Shit. not no. Yeah, it went, it it went to it twelve was, thirty on where we were. Oh, oh really? On Hollywood yeah, Boulevard. Yeah, longer. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, our stopped like. And were they protesting down there or no? What was it? Just was it downtown? Downtown was the craziest for sure. They're breaking stuff, looting. Oh, spray painting everything. What, people just want die? people yeah. just want reasons to fuck shit up. Yeah. It's so stupid. Like, it's it, stupid. Have shit. a celebration. Don't destroy everything. Oh, yeah. Doc, have you seen what's happening in Philly oh, right yeah, now? Yeah. Well, shout out to uh, Walter. Oh, shout out to it? Suplex Shoe Store. Hopefully, you didn't get robbed. Shout okay. out to them boys. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, Dude, did can, Philly lose or something? Can I can I report this real? Quick? Nope. Go ahead and report the story. <laughs> okay. This is not my <laughs> real. Hey, story. that's why he wearing this post that he delivering, bro. I'm about to deliver. I got two stories. I got delivered. Shitty stories. You don't know that yet, Brennan. I was up all night. Good. Well, okay, cool. Wait, this what's is, the, yeah, what's the story? Check this Morning out. Morning glory. So, 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 at, in Philly, right, this guy, hey, they, he got a call, they got a, the police came for like a duress call, you know how that is. The black guy had mental health issues, but he had a knife in his hand, right? So they recording, you know, they're like, hey, yo, you know, they, hey, like, yo, 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 you know what I mean, yo, just come down, just calm down. The police like, yo, we didn't have any tasers. He was so there for domestic violence. Domestic violence, but he had a knife in his hand. Now his mom like, yo, she's shouting out like, put the knife down. They gonna, you know, stop, stop. He and comes, he's charging he comes towards the he cops towards with, a knife. with a knife. And they don't have any tasers, right? So boom, of course the shops, the, the, shop, the cops just, brrr, you know, they shoot him. They shoot him. Three times, I think. It was a three or more. I don't know. Philadelphia shooting? Yeah. It, I think it was more than three. Was right? it? Yeah. But, but either way, but either charging way. Charging a cop with a knife, what do you think is going to happen? Why don't you? You're going you're to get shot. You're you going to get shot. Exactly. But so now they're saying, but hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. He had mental health issues. So does that make it okay to charge a cop with a knife? Well, he was walking briskly towards him. 
can't have it. You can't. So you saying that that right? But but no, hold on. After at, and during this climate, now I don't want to get too deep. No, during this climate, do. Okay, so during this climate, right? We seen so many videos of a black guy getting arrested and getting. I mean, getting killed. Mm -hmm. Right, and we see like other people, like you know, other races get a you know. I saw a white woman literally like had like with a knife, and she was hitting the cop. And they don't shoot her. They don't shoot her. Yeah, right. And that's, they, they that's the problem. They tasing her. So I'm saying three times, by the way, three. It was three. Yeah. Okay, boom. But where was it? They couldn't shoot him in the leg. Or, I don't know. Okay, copy that. They don't. But, yeah, that's not. They're not trained to shoot yeah, for the legs. They're trained. They, they, they're trained to stop. They trained to yeah. stop. Okay, so. I'm saying my issue is, and this is my issue. Yeah, I'm sure like, I'm like, I'm like, dog. Like, why, why keep killing? Like, we just had like another protest. Now you already know what's going to happen. You know what's the gonna city. Happen. The city's going to go up, and then 30 cops is injured, and then a lot of people are getting. It's like 97 cops are arrests. Fucked up. So yeah. it's, the town. But here's the problem. The the thing too is like protesting. I'm all for it, man. Use your voice. Use use yeah. your power. The problem is, is it turns from protest. It's not everybody, but then it's the looting. So now they're destroying the city, yeah. destroying Philadelphia. But we got to pay for that. Taxpayers still got to pay. That's my yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So like it's you're just not, like not hurting those cops. Nah, you're yeah. hurting your 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 neighbor. You're hurting those black owners of those businesses whose mm -hmm. livelihood is in those business. Like my boys who own su Suplex, the the, yeah, his store. the shoe store. Yeah. That, dude, they're self made. That's the business yeah. they put all their money to. Yeah. You you rob them. It's like they they don't have the money, and the way insurance works, it doesn't cover it. It doesn't cover that. What if you file for bankruptcy? And you just you literally can get the insurance claims. We some, but like like those big businesses like Nordstrom and stuff and Foot Locker, yeah, they, they can get fine. away with it. Yeah. Yeah. But those mom and pop shops or those black owned yeah, okay. shops, yeah. they're yeah. fucked, dude. Uh -huh. yeah. Their their entire yeah. savings are in that. Mm -hmm. So when you guys loot and fuck you guys, you guys meaning I'm just meaning, I'm just kidding. you guys <laughs> meaning I'm just kidding. meaning <laughs> Philly or L A. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. Sorry, uh, I no, just I'm had to do When I said you guys, I'm like fuck. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of it's a lot. Sorry, uh, you know you got yeah. When I said it you was guys. True. It was true. I forgot about that. I was so in tune with what he looters was aren't. It's, but looters aren't. When I mean you guys, it's looters. White, black, Antifa, yeah, yeah, yeah. proud, whoever it yeah. is. Yeah, you guys is these looters. Like that's yeah. not protest. When Logan do, Paul's brother. Yes, <laughs> for real. <laughs> but real when talking. when you loot, it, you're what you're doing is now you're putting a check. Whether you're pro Trump or not, you're putting a check into his box. Exactly. Because then people want law and order, and they. Want want the oh, national yeah. guard mm -hmm. and the national guard gets in philly today exactly yeah, and today, you want to yeah. see what happened oh, yeah. to the national guard oh it's gonna it's gonna be a oh, curfew we, we, and they yeah, gonna respect that it. oh it's all gonna stop it's gonna you're stop. not gonna get away with it mm -hmm. but that's that's the thing it's just the same cycle that we go that over it's the and over. same cycle and, and, like like i always think about like you know i don't know re reacting the same way to the same situation like, are you getting the results you want? Are you getting the results you want? Because that's you crazy. Think that, about that's what that. crazy is doing something yeah. over and repeatedly over without yeah. any positive. Thing. It's like it's like like I think about that like with my anger. Like I was reacting the same way, and having problems. Like and, nothing and ever got nothing, better. Nothing got better. So I had to like open my mind and change up and like okay, how can I strategically go? Well, I mean, my teachers helped me with that. Yeah, how can you how do can better? I react different? What what can I do to get a better result? To get a better result. Well, look at like, but also when they loot and destroy the city, like look at Watts. They destroyed those businesses. Is Watts flourishing? As are those communities yeah. flourishing? I know. When you when you burn down as those building cities like that, dude, you're they're, talking they're, about years before they rebuild and come back business. And then also businesses don't want to come back there. Yeah. Because they go, oh, th it can happen here. We're going to take our business elsewhere. Yeah. So they're scared to bring money into that community. So it fucks those communities for, you're talking generational, dude. Mm -hmm. You ever seen that famous video? Uh, it's, I think it's from the uh, LA riots. Uh, Rodney King getting bit up? Yeah, it was It was um, a black dude that was, uh, he had a business. And he was, it was older black dude. And he was like, it was, it was. It's kind of like hard to watch because it makes you want to cry. Was he so defending like, his business? Defend yeah, he was like, man, y'all destroying. Like he goes, I worked hard, and yeah, like people crazy. were trying to like and they're calm down, but stuff. he was just so he was so. It's like a it's a heartbreaking yeah, it's a video. Like watching. I'll tell like, you who you don't want to business. You don't want to fuck with because there's a lot of Asian, especially Chinese people that own businesses in Watts. Did you see what they did when they're trying to riot? They got on the roof with AK 47s oh, yeah. AR 15s and went. If you come into my store, I'm gonna shoot you. No one mm. fucked with their stores. So it wasn't Watts. It was a. Uh, it was Los Angeles riots in the nineties. Yeah, 90, and they're like Korea, 90, Korean Korean owners. Korean, yeah. And by the way, real quick, the so different articles are saying different things. It says the 
The see, main thing in common is that the two officers, I think it was two officers, shot seven times each. So there's like 14 shots, but they're not sure how many times he was struck yet. Yeah. I thought he was hit three. I saw they visited him th three times before. That's in the video, you can hear like, yeah, several shots. I yeah. hate articles. Articles bug the shit out of me. Really? Well, you, don't know, yes. what, you don't know what's real. Yeah, it's like, just so, what's, man, everything's just Plus, so if you look different. at CNN, it's going to be the worst case scenario. You look at Fox and yeah. best case scenario, it's like, what, what's yeah, real? I mean, you can just watch the video. Is the video you watch the video, oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's multiple like, shots. It's multiple, it's more than three but yeah i just say like i'm with you it's like in this current climate yeah, current now it, let, let's put let's say you two are the cops mm -hmm. and it's me and we don't know each other mm -hmm. and you come to a, a, a domestic violence call and i'm outside with a knife i'll beat your and ass I, you're not I'm gonna beat kidding. my ass <laughs> <laughs> no, no you're not gonna beat my you're, I'm just kidding. you want to go home to your wife and kids and i have a knife and i'm gonna try and stab you whether i'm mentally ill or not i'm gonna try and stab you and you have a gun mm -hmm. what are you gonna do well hold on this isn't to me to it, don't get me wrong. There's some bad cops out there that make mm -hmm. horrible decisions, and mm -hmm. we got to fix that. That's a real problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a real Respect. fucking problem. Yeah, we got to fix that. Yeah. But there's millions of uh, encounters with cops a day that we don't see between white and black or of black course. on black, and it goes great, but that's not posted. Mm -hmm. No one cares about that. Mm -hmm. For the most part, cops are doing their job. So those two cops, they want to go home to their wife and kids, man. So if you're rushing me with a knife, and I'm trained to shoot to stop you, and it's me or you i'm fucking it's not a race thing mm -hmm. it's a fear thing no i, I hear what you're saying but the, in that situation the point the floyd, point was floyd, the floyd thing's different okay, George 100%, Floyd's different. 100 it's countless other but i'm saying in that situation he wasn't rushing he wasn't rushing because he went so, around but, the so, so what should we do though malik if, if i'm a cop and you're briskly well, walking yeah, with a knife his mom let his mom like they told his mom let his mom calm him down like his mom was right there and you for you to get shot and like more than like several shots. I don't know what the estimate. I'm hearing different things, but multiple shots, multiple shots. And in front of his mind, you know, listen, the dude is already thrown off. Right. And plus, black people suffer from mental health issues. We got to make that bigger in the community. Mm -hmm. So and the whites, you know, so the whites, that's what I'm saying. Crazy. -ass exactly. So the fact that he was walking and his mom was like, yo, I got him. Let me, you know, let, know how to deal with him to calm him down. Was he, she, but was she was she getting him? No, because listen, the, so the cops was walking around the car. Can we play that video? Oh, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We played Mr. Hands. I don't know. It's. A no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where we draw the line. I don't know where we draw. Yeah. Line. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He was walking around the car. He was walking around the car. Breeze. And so the cops are 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 walking around the car. So it's clear. It's clear distance, right? And the guy is filming. Now, I don't know, but the guy is filming in the back seat, right? So he's seeing. He's like, "Yo, just chill, yo." He was like, "Yo, let his mom. His mom got. You know, he's shouting all that." And was the mom coming to get him? His mom was grabbing his arm. His but, gra and what was he doing? He was still walking towards the cops. So if the, you know, you saying in that situation, what should you do? Now, I, they don't I, have. I want to go home to my kids. I don't give a fuck if you're crazy. Yeah. If your mom's there, I want to see my kids. Okay. So and where if would you're you... coming at me with a knife, I'm going to shoot you. Look how far distance. They... Let's watch the video then. Okay. Did it went? Oh, it's okay. Oh, they took it down. You can't they show it. Yeah, if someone gets shot and died, you can't show it. Uh -oh. But you know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. to to me, this isn't this isn't a race thing. This is a matter of a lot, and a lot of those cops don't have the proper training to deal with it. So you put those guys under stress and they have a gun. And they see a guy with a knife. They're mm -hmm. shooting. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why when people say defund the police, like if you do that, mm -hmm. if that's your motive and you want to defund the police, things are going to get worse because mm -hmm. you're going to get cops who are less, they have less resources. You're going to get mm -hmm. worse cops. Mm -hmm. You need to put more money into them to get proper training. No, I, and I, I get what you're saying, 100%. But I think the people that's just like saying defund the police, is we're watching a guy with a knife charge two, two officers, right? But we watch a, someone from different races and they literally fight just to restrain that's a problem. them so that's that's, that's what a they problem. i get both sides i get yeah, what yeah. you're saying yeah right me too i get both home. sides exactly yeah and then i get like the i try to put myself in this situation mm -hmm. you know because i had plenty of run-ins with the cops and and I, like you said has it always good, been negative not always but I, I and here's the thing the black cops treated me worse than a white oh cop. man because they, they, they have something to prove I'm like, God damn, they hit me up. I'm like, yo, so the, it, it took like a white officer to calm the black guy down. Weird. Yeah, I was like, what the, f yeah, I was in the car. I had the same thing. But I mean. Literally had the same thing. Black Weird. officer yeah. going hard on Going hard. And still I to was this day, he messed my record. Yeah. yeah. And he got so hard. mad he could have let me go. The cop was like, let him, let me go. But he was like, nah, I'm going to I'm I'm just ticket. I'm going to just yeah. give you a ticket. I'm and, like, and, God. And just like you said, like the white cop was like. Like, chill, dude. Yeah, yeah chill. okay. Like, yeah, like he was just, he just started talking shit about me. Weird. Like, I was just like. Bro, I, and I'm I'm trying to you know, just like uh you know comply. Just I'm, I'm understand. Just, I'm, yeah. Like listen, I'm not. I have no reason mm -hmm. to you know yeah. like any information you need from me. Yeah. I will cool. give you. Yeah. I'm I'm not here. 
Dog. I'm not against you. Yeah, I'm yeah. here to like it's cooperate just, with you. You stop thing. me. Obviously, there's a situation. Yeah, Let's understand. There's a it. real problem between the yeah. relationship between cops and black people yeah. too. Like, yeah, the way a cop, black or white, approaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminded me. Of I don't like him. That's him. That's him right there. That's him. That's the one that got me. That's the one that got me. That's the one. Yo, he started. He he started talking shit about like, bro, my my clothes. He he started talking shit about like just me. Bro, he and took I'm like, my, he took my, hey man, you, you want my dude, information? Cop, cop, cops have a tough job too, yeah. man, because they're dealing with the worst of society every day. And I, so and I get they don't that, have a positive outlook. Yeah. And I get that, but I wasn't even saying I anything. Know. Shit. I wasn't you know saying anything. Bro, I he took my he, chain. He, I was like, yes, sir. He was like, chain? motherfucker, you too nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, sir. I am too nice. You know, I told I, you. I, I get it. Yeah. That's because there's some wild motherfuckers out there. But I mean, there was one cop. She thought, she thought I was a. Robbing the ATM and I was depositing cash, <laughs> but she's like, "Yeah, I'm like, how can I, you know?" And the thing was, the thing that like sucked. And don't don't get me wrong, I've dealt with some really great cops. There was one cop that stopped me because I was about to go fight some dudes with my brother, yeah. And they had pulled us over and caught us or whatever. And um, oh, that was and, that was a house. Yeah, party. and then yeah, and then my brother had the nerve to be like. I, uh, my brother's trying to fight these dudes and I was just rolling with him. Damn. And they were like, yeah, he straight up did that. He snitched on me. And they were like, is your brother in the car? And he was like, yeah, he right here. Oh, and I was wow. like, I was oh, like, you wow. serious? Debo, you gonna do me yeah, like that? You gotta call his name out on the podcast? Yeah. You know? God, That's the piece, but goddamn, I'm mad about that. Don't yeah, look yeah. up. But anyways. <laughs> look, look down at my yeah, legs. Shit, like, Why did he like that? I don't know. And they were like, and I was just like, hey, you know what? We're, we're, going, we're going back to our neighborhood. We don't want to fight these guys. We understand that they don't want to fight. I was just talking to him, being honest with them. And even one was like, oh, you, you uh, I had a, a band t-shirt on. He was like, started talking to me oh, about that's cool. it. Yeah, he was like, oh, you, you listen to GBH? And I was like, oh yeah, you know, one of my favorites. And then, you know, they're like, he was like, hey man, like if you're not gonna, if you, if, he goes, I'm gonna trust your word. If you, if you guys are gonna go home. And, and, and you gotta think, yeah, there was three black dudes, two Mexicans in the car at, sure. at the time. You know, like good. coming from, Coming from like the suburbs, a white neighborhood yeah. like Gilbert, Arizona, which yeah. is you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, and we were headed back to Mesa. Shout out to Mesa, Much but uh, you know, he was he was actually really really cool. But like, yeah, I have had those situations if, if where like they they are cool and they just and they like. I always try to you know my best is to you know it's and it's tough comply you know, yeah. proper yeah but yeah. even when you comply no they they still go hard so it's just man, sometimes I'm, yeah. that black sometimes, cop I'm saying sometimes. I'm just saying my run ins like I, like, like you know. I'm close with a few cops. I was talking to this cop the other day. This is what he, he would this, be close this, with a few cops. I'm yeah. just kidding. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, mother, mother, you mother. You mother. You mother. mother. <laughs> so he, uh, <laughs> this thing, boy. But, but, but this was his Monday. This was his Monday. I go, how was your day? He's like, fuck, man. He had, he had like all these scratches on his head and it was all fucked up. And he goes, uh, this lady uh, car broke down. It was like an older navigator, or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, broke down, and so we we're trying to help her out because she's at a dangerous part of the highway. He's like, so I pull up, and she's or right off the bat, Mexican lady just being a dick. And he's like, listen, we're just trying to make sure you're safe. We're gonna try to restart the car. We'll wait for the tow service to restart the car. That's nice. And they're trying to restart, and she she won't get out of the car. He's like, all right, whatever. He's like, it's not safe here. You're in a dangerous part of the highway, and she's just talking shit to him. He's like, all right, whatever. And people always, you know, especially now, people are asshole to cops. Even if they're good cops, they're assholes to them. So they're trying to restart the cars, restart the engine, but and they're trying, and it's a smaller battery on this navigator. And the tow truck guy's like, "This battery shouldn't even be in this thing." I don't. Know. So I'll try my best. So he's like trying to get it. And he's hitting it, and she's like, start talking shit, like, "Don't touch my fucking car like that." Blah blah blah. And he's like, "Dude, we're just trying to get the car started. Be you. cool." They're trying to start, trying to start. This lady gets out of the car, jumps into the tow truck, steals the tow truck. My buddy, who's a cop, jumps in the tow tow truck is wrestling with her on the steering wheel and the keys gets the keys out right get finally gets the keys out she starts attacking him he goes like you know he's like this to go away she brave she gets out runs across the highway makes it past the first lane this is rush hour makes past the first lane makes past she's 20 something years no. old makes past the second lane makes past the third lane gets to the carpool Car's going 80 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Hits her. Game, set, match. That was his Monday How's morning. How's she doing? She died. <laughs> it's over. She died. How's when he said match, that means power at 80. 80. Come on, Chappelle. Oh, car at I, 80. I knew that. I knew car that. Car at 80. When he said match, her. that's, that's car 80. Car at 80, dead, dead, on, dead on sight. That was his Monday, fellas. Mental health issues. Maybe. Mm -hmm. well, I'm know? just saying. But, that, but that's his Monday. That's his Monday. And then, he, But that was Monday morning. What happened on Tuesday? 
I don't know. Oh, okay. He went. He went back. He went back to work. Okay. I damn. Didn't, I but didn't. that's what he deals with. And he's like, I, you know, you have no idea why she did. We don't know. We have no clue. We yeah. have no idea why she did yeah, it. No, what no. she was thinking. Yeah. She was on yeah. parole. Yeah. Oh, she was. Yeah. So maybe she was thinking, oh, the the cops here. He's gonna run my. I'm on parole. But it's like he was like, she didn't do anything wrong. We're parole just means she's got to check in. Yeah, nah. but she might. She might, probably did something before, so she's on parole. Like you know, so like she can't. Oh, like, is that pending? Parole's oh. like you if you like you got to check in and like if you do anything, you're going straight back yeah. to jail. Got it. Yeah, but she didn't do anything. Not, she didn't do anything illegal. Yeah, you know, like that. they ran the plates on the car. Like oh, she's on like, parole, but yeah. it's like got it. You know, like she. He was like, it doesn't make sense why she would run. Why she'd steal the the truck? Like none of it made any sense. We're there just to help her out to start the car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's like, you're just a normal. You know. Yeah, I get it. Cops, I mean, so when you talk to him, and, up, and they're yeah. just like, "Fuck, dude." Yeah, yeah. it's I just like it. I, we get it. Cops have like the a tough job. I get it. They need proper training proper because proper. a lot of but people. What does that mean? High, what does that mean? Though? Proper training. Well, if you like Jocko uh, Willick, who was on Rogan, you know, who trains all the supplement cops. Well, he he's a former special forces guy, mm -hmm. but he's saying you know a lot of these cops have barely any training so they, they're not getting because we need cops so bad they're not yeah. properly trained we're putting them out in the field so you got a guy who's whatever 24 years old not a lot of life experience yeah. not a lot of high pressure situation you give him a gun and he his odds of dying you know when they pull a car over are high if it's you know a certain ethnicity yeah. so he's scared already that guy starts mouthing off he's freaking out he don't know how to deal with the situation mm -hmm. they're over aggressive they're, yeah it's just like he so you, you know you need they need more training they need proper yeah, training yeah, yeah. they need guys like jocko or tim kenny to help them with you know Who's hand tim kennedy Tim Kenny is a special for current special forces guy uh ufc fighter used to be a ufc fighter well, the, well, literally, uh, when you talk about if aliens came to Earth and they're like, hey, we need to, one of your greatest human beings, you'd send them Tim Kennedy. That, He's yeah. the nicest guy, great father, sp current Special Forces guy. Damn. Oh, he went from UFC to the Special Forces? He was in the Special Forces wall in the UFC. Oh, really? He's a, He's a motherfucker. Wow. And the nicest guy on the planet. I mean, huge. Jacked. God. Dang, what is he fighting at? Bro, middleweight, yeah. parking ticket. That's a middleweight? Middleweight. Imagine. He, imagine What's middleweight? 185. 185? Freak. Damn. That's the thing, man. Special forces, too. Hell yeah, bro. Special forces. Wow. Right, you wait. hear him talk about Trump and funding, you're like, oh, like the he military makes sense. funding? He makes sense. It'll make you just be like, oh, fuck. It'll just make you think, you know? Because like with me, with voting, it's all about me personally. Like Certain people are going to vote on things that's important to them, whether... You know, it's not. I, I don't like Trump or Biden. I don't like either guy. Copy that. So for me, what affects me is their tax laws, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna vote based off tax laws. Mm -hmm. Well, the biggest tax cut for me would be Trump, right? So, but with Biden's plan, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. But when you hear and Trump's uh, funding towards the military, well, I'm gonna vote for that too because I believe in a strong military. Mm -hmm. So when you hear Tim Kennedy talk about it, mm -hmm. and he goes, you know, you can vote for you want because as far as military go, they're gonna be a lot of them are pro Trump because. When Obama was in uh, office, he was very reserved, wasn't given the military funding, and ISIS kind of flourished, started popping up all over. It was Trump came in, gave us the funding, mm -hmm. and what he says, release the hounds, was like, yeah, there's going to be some casualties, but do what you want to beat ISIS. You know how long it took our special forces to beat ISIS? Mm -hmm. Three months. Three months. Instead of the four years with Obama, with the proper funding and capabilities, our military's the baddest on earth. It took them three months. Mm. Shout out to Is Is. That makes me proud to be American. Is, is. That's ISIS. I, but if you, why real, you don't want to shout out to ISIS. <laughs> why are you shouting out ISIS? <laughs> Can we edit that? No, I was, yeah, yeah. no, because we defeated no, them. We def no, we defeated them. <laughs> nah, I'm with the military. No, no shout out to ISIS. <laughs> no, 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 no shout out. <laughs> also, if you a cop that's watching this, if you think black people is dangerous, go to Brendan's shop and we were shooting guns and you see me shoot guns, you be like, you know what? I understand. They not. <laughs> <laughs> they, they not. You wasn't that they, tight. I was, uh, we, I was, I was tight. No, I was you tight. weren't that good. I, was, I, was I good. think I probably, out of, out of all the, all black, the black guys that were there, yeah. all the black guys that were there, <laughs> Copy that. I what probably you? was the best. No, no, I probably I, agree I, with that. I, I, I what? Sign, that. I Hell sign no. That. What are you talking Come on, scared. I made the shot. I made the shot that we all. But but like overall, if we're gonna no, overall no, no. grade, Co Colin was the best. Uh, well, Colin, we, we talk Colin about the, black uh, the squad. He's black. The, man, out of our squad, out of I'm our not squad. about the teacher. I'll tell you who's also. Of course, also, I expect I'll the tell you who's also good. good. Who has a shady history with Stevie Blue Eyes? That's all. 
Hey, Stevie, uh, yeah, you, you know, know, too speak, cool speak, that guy. Too, I was about, hold on, Tom. Pink, pink, pink. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if we're speaking of parole officers. I don't know if we was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You right. I don't know. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I got a lot of DMs. Stevie did not touch a gun uh, this weekend for these white guys, bro. They was in my. Life. They were killing me. They was like, because uh, we do shout outs all the time. I did a fifty cent bar, and um. yeah, didn't even think of it. <laughs> They was like, man, you 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 biting Malik. I was like, I didn't I didn't mean it. You know what I mean? So many white boys called what, me cornball. What did you do? Uh, cause we was in a conversation talking about Denzel, and I was like, uh, uh, what is um? The I line. watched I watched gangster flicks and root for the bad guy and turn it off before it ended before the bad guy died. That's a fifty cent bar. But I was like, oh wait, what a minute. And then it went blank. And I was like, that was hard. I was like, man, you didn't come up with that. You cornball. I was like, man, okay. Go, so why you why are you and, staying and, with and the white guys? White, white guys. guys. And I'm talking about white guys are like that. Well, I don't know our demographic. I thought we was like <laughs> he said, I don't know. I don't know our demographic. But they was like, man, you better shout them out. So shout out to 50, at least did. Everybody who I didn't shout out that last episode. Oh, okay. Of, they okay. serious about that. They yeah. was like, we're show love. White you dudes get no that love, love hip hop are serious about. They hip-hop. serious about yeah, hip hop. They, they, they go hard yeah. about hip hop. Fifty's getting shit because he posted Biden's tax plan and was like, "I saw that. I vote for this. I'm gonna be twenty cent." I know. Like, I, <laughs> he's like, I saw that. He's like, "Go Trump." <laughs> <laughs> Openly too, yeah. Fifty is so ruthless. He's just he just. But he's not saying care. what everybody thinks. They're mm-hmm. just not gonna say because they don't want to do the backlash. Don't That's why I fuck with fifty. You gotta have some cojones to think about it, bro. He, he got shot, shot nine, nine times. Thank you. What do you think he's gonna I'm say? He, he's a. He's you a, think he, he cares about people's feelings? He's a beast too. When you think about all the shit he does, oh, he does a lot of mm-hmm. shit, bro. Vitamin water sold it for two two million dollars. G unit. G unit clothing. I was about to say a G unit, but be all, he's doing a bunch of stuff, man. Bunch he's of stuff. He's, he's got smart TV dude. shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, power. Yeah. Ooh, people trying to, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone was trying to say, yeah, he was broke, and I'm like, fifty cents. Oh, because he filed for bankruptcy. Different kind of broke. Yeah. But when they bankrupt, they try saying the same thing with Trump. They're like, oh, he's broke. Well, let's see his uh, actual reports. Because look, look yeah, at it's a times. strategic move, yeah, isn't strategic. it? Or like a it's financial. a business yeah. chapter yeah. eleven. Yeah, it's a it's yeah, a business. Or it's man, chapter 50. eleven, chapter seven. Either way, they do it out of business. Move. What's he got brands on cognac or something like that? Is that his? Yeah, he has a bunch of shit. Dude. The bunch of his he's alcohol. Crushing. Yeah, he's got yeah. alcohol. He launched some new thing too. He's killing it, dude. Fifty Damn. Laws of Power. He got a book. You know, what I mean, that's he got a, a great book? book. Yeah. Not so he's that. just he's just like you're not reading Fifty's book. Nah. Wait, that was great. He didn't write. It. I like Fifty. No, he has Ghostwriter, but yeah, yeah. I'm all set. Let you said I'm all it. set. Let chip. Let ch- he always t- like hashtags it. Yeah, he, all has, hashtag, he yeah. hashtag all this stuff. <laughs> Oh, three hundred dollars. I don't know. It's that much. It's what three hundred bucks for champagne. For yeah. champagne. Champagne. Are people buying that? Uh, what does champagne taste like? I'm not a big champagne guy. It's just like fr- oh, fruity, he sent that. Fuzzy, uh, fruity, he sent that to dude fizzy. that we want fizzy? to train yeah. us. Oh. oh really? Yeah, he sent it to Mark. Cause Why? Because Mark uh, did uh, Fifty Central. Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent had a sketch show Shout on BET. BT. You never saw yeah. it? Uh-uh. I didn't think so. But uh, he had <laughs> shit. You just fired Katoosh. <laughs> I mean, I, I, to be fair, I don't think a lot of people saw it. Wait, <laughs> 50 wow. Central? No. Well, he yeah. was hiring a lot of black comedians. Yeah, I'm sure. 50 oh, Cent shit. doing comedy? Again, like his book, all the black all comedians. Set. I love how that one white guy is in the. In the <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did it, buddy. We did it. We hey. did it. And that's power, by the way. We, that's, no, that's not power. power. Yeah, oh, yeah, Lala's on power, right? 50 yeah. Central. 50 Central. It was a sketch show. That looks awful. Look at his leather hat. It probably hat did good. Too. Yeah, even though he got canceled. Oh, like boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. yeah, see, he's a comic. No, he's an actor. Oh, uh, word. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, he does. He does. Uh, my fellow thespian. Uh, oh, look <laughs> at um, Jasmine. Let's say a fine girl, Jazz. You talking about baddie comedy? You go to her page, Jasmine. But, hey, he's oh, done yeah. a lot. I mean, yeah, even though what Fifty Cent or what probably failed. I don't know. It is it still matter. a thing? No. It doesn't matter. Look at Fifty Cent. It's yeah, not. See, a, there it's he is. There's Mark again. Oh, yeah, he all up in the video. Look at all up in the video. Y'all see? Yeah, he was at the BET Awards and all that. Damn. Yeah. With those long locks. Mm-hmm. By the way. Swing it, B. Yep. Swing it, B. Yo, yo. Get that shit, dog. Hey, if you Find got it, it. flaunt it, man. What's up, dog? Come on now. But Come yeah, on, Skip. But but yeah, that's but the whole um there's like yo shout outs and all that. Like white boys are serious about it. then I got into like an argument you about it. You still like, stay you got an argument in DMs or on you bro, you're back in like, the DMs. Wait, get out of I'm that telling shit. you it's gonna affect you. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? I laugh. 
I can't get a good lap. This them shits yeah. is funny. They called him. They was like Jordan Woods look like uh, before surgery look like Chappelle. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was goddamn hilarious. I was like, well, shit, keep it coming. Wait, what <laughs> did she look like pre-surgery first? Yo, do it. Oh, like, oh that's just, hilarious. Yo, that's hilarious. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. <laughs> now I get it. That's hilarious. They was killing me too. I'm like, yo, it's some other funny. Because I look good. Look at, this, look, at oh. this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, not damn. before. Look at this. The <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, go to the black and white one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got a, I got a bro, black and white junior high picture. That's bro, I hilarious. wish I remember that dude's name so I could shout him out. But he, bro, he had me crying. She's a baddie now. Is she bad? Yeah. I, I can't wait till she start her OnlyFans, man. She gonna start her OnlyFans? Yeah, yeah, man. We that. talked about this. Yeah, that's her with her doctor. Look at the doctor's face. He's like, oh, uh, he's like a famous doctor, huh? Uh-huh. Don't he got a TV show? Well, like he got. Uh, uh, no, I think that's a different one. You're thinking of the doctor from Botched. Oh, okay. oh yeah. They all kind of look. They do. Like they, look well, they, they, all, they all have the Botox yeah, yeah. where they don't yeah. move, and it's like this. So the, like the nothing eyebrows. Okay, so right is here. this not is, okay? Is this not a healthy thing to do to your face? Wait. No, Botox is fine. Wait, what's Botox the thing is with the fine. Botox is what's fine. the thing with the eyebrows? What do y'all mean by that? With the eyebrows? Well, Brian eyebrows? got his lids done. Looks exactly. The I know. Same. That's just. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> My auntie, she that's just what I'm saying. Like, so like, and just this, take a so these surgeries are not bad for them. They're not invasive. Other than a needle going through, it's not like you're they're cutting anything out or putting. Yeah, Botox. Oh. They just the needle goes straight into the, the yeah. whatever. Like they use the that for or the face. for medical stuff for headaches and stuff like that yeah. too. Oh really? It just, it just like, relaxes your muscles. If you have That's sweat glands too, like if you have real yeah. sweaty hands or armpits or feet, the Botox their feet and hands, and it stops the sweating. Nah, no. Wait, wait, okay. I don't want to make this a race thing. No. <laughs> Does black people get that? Do we? Do black do we, people? Oh, we yeah. get bl- Botox. Oh, okay, I, I didn't know. I didn't. Find a black person with Botox. Yeah, wait, Bring can we do Vivian Fox? Okay, let's see. By the she, way, she's I'm at, 50 and she's a baddie. Yeah, but she's, she's definitely had some shit done. Okay. Oh, Vivica, A Vivica. Fox. Vivica, I was like, Vivian Fox. Okay, well, come on. <laughs> Two can play that game. Come on, Chin. Come with me now. She ain't got nothing. She ain't got no done. goddamn black, black don't man, crack. Black don't crack. Look at him. Uh, look at him, bro. <laughs> Brittany, you, you, you ain't got it today. Bow out. Look, look at that. Uh, beautiful. Wait, hold on. Wait, shitting me? You don't think she's had her nose done? Man, no. You too. Huh? Yo, actually, yeah, now that I'm looking at that, yeah, I just, I just, I didn't look at the nose. Hold on, huh? Look at her face. Mm. That yeah. does look Ooh, like she's makeup. Had that's a lot of she's looking older. <laughs> she do like Corella Deville. Who's is that? Her daughter to the right? No, that's Zendaya. Oh, she dated Fifty. Yeah, all uh-huh. all roads lead back to Fifty. Look at this. All leading back I to Fifty. I got about so you break for a second. Sure. Okay. One unexpected side effect this year. It feels like fashion is over i'm talking about fast fashion i don't know about you but i don't even know what the trends are nowadays i kind of do but listen most people don't know so how are we supposed to know what are we supposed to shop for do what i did don't buy for now buy forever for timeless pieces that will last a lifetime check out Faraday. all right that's all i'm gonna say check out Faraday makes high quality comfortable clothing for life they're sustainably minded designing products with thoughtful focus and fabrics every piece is made to last forever and it's guaranteed all right the company is run by faraday family and they are very hands-on uh they do it all themselves all right and let's see the legend collection is some of my favorite the legend collection it's legendary this is the softest coziest shirt i've ever worn i'm rocking it all the time it's a good thing that the quality stands up to everyday wear because i want to wear it every dang day buying forever is the smartest way to shop other designer stuff falling apart not this we're talking about Faraday, man and now's the smartest time to do it right now you can get 25 percent off your next Faraday purchase when you go to faritybrand.com slash fighter that's Faraday f-a-h-e-r-t-y brand.com slash fighter for 25 percent off 25 percent off faritybrand.com slash fighter all right, fellas, let's take a little break because my boy all the way from New York is on the line. I'm talking about Mark Norman. He has a special on YouTube right now. It's probably the best you'll see on YouTube. It's called Out to Lunch. You can watch it right now for free. One of the funniest men in the business, my brother from another mother all the way from New York, Mark Norman. Mr. Mark Norman, what's happening, brother? Hey, hey, good to see you, Fanny. It's been years. <laughs> So much has happened. The world's shut down. Your, your studio is like, uh, it's like my ex-girlfriend. She's gone black. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Things have changed, you know. Things are a little different now with Corona. Yeah, you got a couple of Kamalas. <laughs> <laughs> 
It were like Kamala, but we kicked Biden out. You know, we got really old, man. So <laughs> smart. What, how, how's, how's New York, man? Is it as bad as it seems on TV? Or it it's not that bad. The Bronx is rough, but uh, it's just everybody left, and there's a lot of hobos, and it's getting a little dicey. But it's still fun. There's comedy shows. We're on a roof. We're in a parking lot. You name it. I saw you doing comedy shows in uh, parks. Yeah, yeah. It's come to that. Uh, you're just doing it straight up. What gave you the idea to do in parks? Just because you were forced, that's the only place you can do it? Yeah, everybody's COVID crazy. So stand up New York said, hell, we'll do it in a park. We'll get a microphone and we'll hit our mailing list. And now we're in Central Park. I got birds shitting on me. I got sun cancer. I got a mosquito biting me. <laughs> and there's kids playing. And I'm talking about queefs, you know, into a microphone under a tree. Hey, I heard you say, I heard you say uh, you can actually hear crickets. Like, you know, the, people yeah. always go, no, it's crickets out there. He goes, no, seriously, I can hear crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, complete. It's bad, man. It, it's, I call it the methadone of comedy. It's not the real heroin, but you just, it gets you by. Yeah, we need the real thing. But you can go on the road some, right? Like I've been, you know, and I got, I paid for it. I was the canary in the coal mine and I got COVID, but I've been on tour during this whole pandemic. Yeah, same. I've been doing like funny bones and uh, heliums. Yeah. You know, they're half full, so I'm finally selling out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, going into a club is magic. It's like, oh, I didn't realize what we had. You know, you're know. in a green room. The, the crowd is hot. It's great. Yeah, you're putting a lot of content out, though. I think it's forcing comics to kind of get more creative as far as digital goes. Like, I see you putting out a bunch more clips, stuff like that. So, I think in one aspect, that's good. More guys are getting creative and putting content out so people don't forget about them, I guess. That's true. We're, we're trying to stay relevant. You got to get creative. And I hope this uh, fluffs off a few, you know, hobbyists. You know, if, if you weren't in it for the love of it, yeah, hit the road. Yeah, if you're not doing because you love it, you know, especially now you're getting half pay on the road and stuff like that. Those those other hacks aren't out there, you know. Exactly, exactly. So hopefully, because comedy got real hot, you know, YouTube and Netflix and all this shit. So everybody jumped on the bandwagon. But once they see it's tough, uh, I think it'll be. I think it'll kick a lot of people out. Hit the bricks, I say. But you were smart because I, a, a few comics did it and a few of them failed, but you were smart because you released your special during the pandemic, right? Yes. Good call. Good call. Yeah. Great time to release content is during a pandemic. I mean, people are stuck at home. We're quarantined. So I got some, some pretty solid views on that bitch. That thing's over a mil, yeah? Oh, we're at 3.6 there, sloppy jalopy and counting. I feel like uh, I was maybe uh, 10 views of that. I watched it and ah. I also posted it. Thank you, sir. You've watched it more times than my parents, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> did, you have, did, you, did you have it ready to go? Was this planned? I or shot did, it in January. Nobody would buy it. So I said, fuck it. I'm shooting it myself. And uh, I'm, thank God I did. So then we just edited it, color corrected that thing, and put it out in May. How the fuck did nobody buy it? Are you pitching it yourself, or are you having one of those sleazy agents kind of push it to Netflix or Comedy Central? I had a sleazy agent. I had me. I had everything trying to push it. But, you know, I don't check any boxes. I'm a skinny white guy. It's, it's a lot of us, you know, I'm no Sarah Cooper. So, uh, you know, I, <laughs> nobody wanted it. So what, what can you do? They don't even watch it. They don't watch it. They just go, ah, we don't like the look. He looks like a douche. Fuck him. And I'm kind of glad I put it on my own now. It's a blessing in disguise because I get all the money. I can chop it up. I own it. Yes. Yeah, I think, you know, Schultz, he's doing the same thing too. Although now he might, you know, be going with a major distributor. But I think it, it's strange because you're such a – beast at the art of stand-up that they wouldn't look at it and give you a platform because is, uh, well. is it frustrating for you because you know every comic is going to say you know you talk about guys who are great at the craft right now no one says mark norman's not up there you know top 10 right now so uh, uh you, you talk to anyone you know so is it frustrating for you you know you're you're good at comedy man it has to be frustrating oh. Hey, thanks. I can't take a compliment, but uh, yeah, it's frustrating. It was more hurtful. Like, hey, you work so hard at something and you you fucking slave over this thing. No offense. And it just, you know, 
it just sucks. Because, yeah. It, by the way, it's so great having a, a black people in the room because in New York, everybody's so tense with everything. So it's this nice black people laugh. And then these these stiff honkies out there go, oh, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, know, shut man. up. But yeah, yeah, it's a uh, it's a pain in the ass. It's a bummer. You know, what can you do? Because funny now is 13th on the list of what people want in in the industry of comedy, you know, and, and the, the business side, they don't care about funny. Funny's out. I mean, look at all the specials these yep. days. They're pretty rough. Yeah. So um you know I, I don't know i don't fit the mold but fuck it i'm on youtube and youtube seems to be youtube's now feel like what podcasts were eight years ago Agreed. everybody's like there's no money in that fuck that and now look at podcasts yeah and i, th I think more comics can realize that they have the power and you actually get more views unless you're like a seinfeld or chris rock or you know Chappelle. if you're if you're not those guys you're gonna get more views put on youtube and owning all of it and posting clips and promoting it there because everybody can get youtube exactly exactly yeah they, and uh, i think the good sticks out a little bit and the people talk, I mean, look at Reddit. Reddit is just a big sewing circle full of dweebs and incels, and they get together and they start clamoring, and then boom, you got a hit. Agree, man. No, I think it was smart, brother. Uh, how's I mean, there, how's have you, everything? Have you seen Have you seen your Reddit? It's fucking terrifying. No. These people are nuts. I stay off of it, man. I stay off it. Don't I just, read it. No, I stay off of it. Hopefully, do you read them? You read all that shit? I have, and it, boy, I had, to, I had to turn my lights off, close the blinds, and get in a fetal position for three weeks. So it's so painful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, yeah, I don't look for validation from uh, guys on Reddit, fortunately. Smart move. How's, how's things going with the, with the lady friend out there during quarantine? Pretty good, pretty good. You know, uh, a lot of movies. We're cooking. It's it's like a lifetime movie over here. You know, where where we she's got a little icing on her nose, and I uh, I rape her. You know, it's fun. Because for a lot of couples, this this pandemic, this quarantine has caused them to break up. You know, it's been that, rough. That's true. Forced to that's hang true. out. No, this was good. Where we 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 hang we we like a little downtime it's not so bad so we're having a good go at it and uh also with comedy i was on the road i was out every night so i know we didn't even know each other until the pandemic yeah you're forced to get to know each other do you miss the hang yeah. like i'm sure you're at the cellar and stuff missing the boys or do you still see people out there Ah, uh, i miss everybody but we're, we're getting there a little like the cellar's still open they have dinner so like oh, i had lunch with sam Marillo the other day i see joe list with the podcast uh, you know, podcasting is really keeping me with seeing all my friends, ironically. Thank God for those. But we have free time. So we sit in the park. We had a cigar with Ari two days ago. I mean, we're, we're getting oh, wow. out there. You got to see the pals and, and stay sane. Is uh, are a lot of your buddies in New York, especially the comics, are they are they leaving New York? Because New York's a shit show like it is in L.A. So all my friends have left. So that's why you just see me now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What are you what are you going to do? I mean, my friends are still here. Uh, no one's a lot leaving. Of us are stuck in our lease. No one's What's leaving that? in New York. No, nobody's leaving in New, New York. None of the main comics or anything. Not really. Not really. Like all the big ones are still here. You know, you're Attell, you're Colin Quinn, Seinfeld. They're all staying. Uh, they all have more money than me. But I don't know. <laughs> New York, you kind of get that apartment. It's they're so hard to find, and you you get you put your roots in this place. Like Joey Diaz is back now. Tim yep. Dillon comes back every now and then. Schultz was born here. Yep. You know, like we're staying. I don't know. I'm proud. It's not of LA. Guys, LA seems worse with the shutdown. Uh, I don't know. LA, a lot of, a lot of frauds, you know, like as soon as things got rough, everybody dipped out. It's like, what? Well, I thought we were, <laughs> what happened? Oh, everyone's going to leave. What the fuck? I know, I know. Well, you, you got you got Kreischer and Bill Burr, I guess, are staying. But yeah, even like Theo and Segura here is leaving, and uh, you know who else? Diaz. Yeah, it's tough. Rogan. Rogan. That's out. tough, man. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. But I think once things open up, those guys will be in and out of L.A. So they might have left, but they'll be in and out. Hopefully, you know. It's just a bummer. Yeah. It's just a bummer. Cause like even at the store, they were trying to put on shows outside and they had like a bar and they had outside show shows and the city shut them down. That's where we're at. Ah, that's what I hear. I mean, the taxes, the shutdown, it feels like it's getting nutty. The hobos. I mean, yeah, you guys are 
what, what's the upside after a while? If you can't go to the beach, you can't go to the nice restaurants, the taxes are, you know, jizzing on your face. You're, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah, but taxes are jizzing your face in New York as well, my man. That's true, but we got the comedy clubs are opening up. The stand is opening now, the cellar. So we're paying for it, sure, but at least we got some amenities coming in. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll give you that. You're right. You Any predictions on the election next week? I will say this. I don't know anything about politics. I've never voted in my life. Uh, I know that's uh, you can't say that shit now, but I, I'm <laughs> clueless. I don't watch the news, really. But I say this. I travel the country, and all I see is Trump posters and flags that's what i keep saying stuff. mark so, what keep going that's what i keep saying like if i think if you're in la and new york you're like oh biden's winning for sure yeah as soon as i get out i'm like oh shit i think trump's gonna win i know exactly so it's a toss-up because like all these people are voting early it's a record amount of votes have come in for biden already so but that's what we said about hillary so uh, what the hell do i know but I just hope Trump loses so we can stop talking about Trump. I got Trump fatigue. This, everybody's got their 20 minutes on Trump, and it's hacky yep. now, and every news story. But here's the question there, Shabby. <laughs> every comedy show is Trump-based. Colbert, Seth Meyers, SNL, uh, Samantha B. It's all Trump, Trump, Trump jokes. So then what happens if he They're loses? Screwed. Are those shows going to go under? I, I don't know. They're screwed. That's the only material they have. All their writers are just anti-Trump. It's the only thing they have. What happens to CNN? What the hell are they going to yeah. do? Yeah, he, he's a ratings booster. So yeah. who knows? Who knows? I, I just I hate that we're so political now. We're so divided. It's, it's all very strange. Agree, brother. Well, hopefully uh, after the election, I do think things are going to open up. In New York, you're already headed in the right direction. Because I was, I was going to do shows at the, uh forgot what theater I was at out there. Do you remember what theater? Gramercy. Oh, yeah, I was at the Gramercy, and you were gonna, we were going to do shows together. So yeah. uh, hopefully next year I'll, I'm going to rebook New York, and we'll be able to do shows together, man. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to see you. Be, I mean, just to have a show planned in the books feels good now because the calendar is so empty. Everybody keeps canceling, which, you know, I get it, but – Boy, I got to tell you, this pandemic has made me grateful for comedy. I, I, I kind of took it for granted, like, ah, going to JFK again. Here we I go. Know. Funny bone, merchandise, know. you know, closer, waitress, you know. But uh, <laughs> now I, I love it. I get to a green room, like, oh, give me those wings. Give me a cocktail. Let's Agreed. go bust it out and do some jokes and the hotel room and all that. But, yeah, I didn't know what I had. Agree, man. Well, when I get to New York, it's going to be Thick Crust and Mark Norman. That's the plan, brother. Here, here. Let's do it, baby. All it's right, brother. Well, we, we miss you, man, and uh, appreciate you coming on, man. Even though it's Zoom, it's better than nothing, man. Yes, yes. It's good to see it. It's, it's, it's not the real thing, but it's it's phone sex. It's you know, <laughs> I, still, I still orgasmed. Wait, am I done already? That was, what, what am I, Quibby? It's over? That was quick. <laughs> Jeez, that was four minutes. But all right, <laughs> I'll see you, buddy. <laughs> Take Sorry, care, man. come hey, here. Do you, do you have any shows coming up? Are you are you on the road again? I am. I am. I'm in. I'm in Atlantic City this weekend at AC Comedy Club. Next weekend, I'm at Cleveland Hilarities, great club. Great. Uh, club. I got a ton of shows in the books. You know, Buffalo, New Orleans, you name it. So uh, we got we got in Buffalo he helium. Yeah, Helium. That's a great club. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, come on out, folks. Say hello. Hug. I'll <laughs> hug. Give a hug, dude. Give a hug. Are I'm you wearing masks? Are you wearing, are you wearing a mask during the meet and greets? I am, but uh, I've already had it, so I, I kind of feel invincible. Me too. I love it. Yeah. So that's nice. How, was, it rough, was it rough for you? Yeah, it was about three days of hell, but it just came and went. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, mine wasn't too bad, but for everyone's different, I guess. I think so. I think if you're fat or uh, gay, you're fucked. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, hey, I'll see you on the road, baby. Kanye 2020. Good to talk to you. <laughs> 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 All right, brother. We got your special up now, so you guys can go watch it now. It's uh, out to lunch. It's on YouTube. 
That's Mark Norman. We love you, man. We miss you. And I'll see you soon in person. Same here, baby. Praise Allah. He's so stupid. So, so fucking. Yo, he's done, dog. <laughs> he's my favorite. He's great. Wait, let me do mine first. Oh, should we? I mean, okay. So you got a news you report. Have a sure. You got a current event, right? Oh, he's, he's, yeah. he has a news report. You got a news report. Yeah, this is the news. Let's do the news report. Oh, now, right, right, new bro. segment. The new. <laughs> welcome back, it's Justin. Let's just in back. Right. Welcome back to. Hey, hit us with it, G. Damn I'm falling there with you. Okay, well, I'm just doing my intro. Right. Oh, got it. Welcome back. This is T Fat KZ <laughs> with your man, Malik B. I'm going to tell you something that you don't even know about that's going on in the news. Check this out, B. Look, so check this out, dog. So, look, the CEO of Twitter, right? The, what, what are you making? Jack that Dorsey. Jack, Jack Dorsey, right? The CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, and the CEO of Google, Sandra Patai, right? <laughs> yep. Sandra Patai. Patai. S- S- yep. All right, look, bro. They got to they gotta go to a con- the front of the Congress. They don't really got to go because it's, you know, a pandemic, yeah, right? So they so FaceTime with them. They FaceTime and virtual, right? Zoom so it. they doing it because Trump called them out over that Biden shit. Right, well, both they, parties they uh, oh, no. suppress news. <laughs> suppress news. What? Of oh, Biden's to. son Hunter. Go ahead. Okay, I'm getting to it. Look, so two th- like they go and they fight in the section two thirty. Now, what you're probably thinking is what's two thirty, <laughs> right? It's a 1996 act that lets you know it's a yeah yeah. That's before Facebook and Twitter. Mm-hmm. It, lets it looks you- like we got you off a wheelchair and sat you there. <laughs> Do like this. <laughs> the wheelchair couldn't fit in here, so we just picked him up. <laughs> He's off the thing. Is <laughs> bro, bro? Why your legs? Like- Yo, he like this. <laughs> you like you? You asking what Dorsey is doing, huh? <laughs> I just, you're like this. <laughs> What the fuck? Yo, it's like I picked around. you up. All right, well, God damn it, bro. I'm move trying to get out of the room. Okay. All right, I don't all know. Right, you sorry, know how okay, I sorry. like it? Go. go God ahead. damn. Go. All right. Baby, I love you. So look, this is what it is. All right, cool. Cool. So section 230. Damn it. I, 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 almost, I lost. Section 230. Okay, 1996. 1996, bro. Listen, many law experts, right, <laughs> consider foundational to protect or protecting facial expression. Free, Free expression. expression. I, I'm cock Yes. All right, on the internet. Look, so check this out. Both parties having a like, disagreement about it. Now, what you probably thinking is, who the parties? The red guys with the ties on, they right. Right, so mm-hmm. look, they far right, so right that you got to turn your steering wheel. Mm-hmm. So look, mm-hmm. they arguing like, "Yo, y'all censoring all our shit online, right?" And Ebonics, I'm trying to get you. In online. Okay, they was like, "Bro," and also we ain't trying to censor and stuff. If we gonna talk, it's free speech, free press. Let's do it. First, First here's Amendment. The, yeah, First Amendment. Bella, shout out to the Bella Rice. Now look, check this out. The dudes in the blue ties for left, left, yeah, yeah for left, cause. <laughs> That way, <laughs> so Bruh. left you gotta turn right. You gotta turn. It's so left you gotta turn. That was a bar you hit yep. me with. Look, they saying like, dog, we we got a problem with y'all like saying hateful stuff online, and we got a problem y'all just like involving you know other countries doing a presidential campaign, right? It was like, man, we we tired of it. This shit need to change, right? So peep game. Both of them got their own people in the Congress. They got like a, a dude in a red suit in Congress, and they got like a dude in a blue suit in Congress, right? Mm-hmm. Remember left and right. That's important, right? So this dude named Ted Cruz. Right, he was like, "Bro, I'm gonna interview Jack Dorsey." Remember, he the tweeter. He the tweeter. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter. yeah, you know, falling there with him. Twitter world. Like, Twitter world. Twitter OJ world. on there. Yeah. Cool, Ted cool. Cruz, supposedly yeah. smartest man come out of Harvard in a long time. He was attorney. Now I thought Ted Cruz was that dude who beat Jimmy Kimmel in one on one in 2018. Not him. Wrong. Don't even look him up. Mm. Right? Different one. Different one. Cool for my street dudes. So look, bro. So he was like, "Look, I'm gonna ask you straight up. Did you or did you not censor stuff online on Twitter?" You know what this dude, Jack Dorsey, again? I never seen the dude before, but I, he, he kind of looked like that dude, you know, Hugh uh, Laurie. But either way, yeah, he yeah. was like, dog, no, I didn't. He was like, <laughs> he was so appalled. He was like, now I'm going to ask you again. I said, did you or did you not? Because you're like, you know, when you lied to someone's face, you're like, I know you just, you just yeah. lied to me. Oh, okay. okay, cool. Okay. So he goes, I'm going to ask you again. Did you or did you not censor stuff online? He was like, no, I think you can get other outlets to like, oh, wow. yo, straight lied to him in the Supreme Court this morning. Ted Cruz was like, who the hell do you think you, you are? Mother- you you motherfucker. Mother- <laughs> Thank you. So, so, but you know what they're suppressing? This is the problem. Is if, if they suppress news like that, we're going to turn to China. Because yep. th- what Twitter and Facebook is doing is they're censoring news that could hurt Biden win yep. the election. Mm-hmm. Because the news that they're suppressing is news. Again, it's not... 
it's not fake news it's it's real shit real mm-hmm. emails that they're not saying are fake they're mm-hmm. agreeing that they're real but it's emails of his son hunter biden yep. who worked for joe biden that was doing business with ukraine and china they have emails they have text to back it up that they were getting funding and money from china and ukraine to f- uh, get deals for the biden family mm. and no. so they suppressed that information they didn't want to go go like crazy this is where what you found out did you just say what i said but smarter <laughs> mm, i just said the information okay cool so look, you, your point is it's it's twitter yep. uh jack dorsey jack dorsey lied lied yep i yep. mean because he did suppress he censored all Which, like remember i on supreme court come on you're fucked you're fucked you're twitter fucked. twitter's gonna be fucked twitter be fucked. no and, and I, facebook they're, they're gonna be fucked well hold on. you suppress information especially like that that's illegal but you, you just, well, no, because they're private businesses. But wait, hold on, uh, ha 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 ha! You, you thought it was over. I know, ha 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 ha! Hit me with <laughs> yes, the stuff, yes. yo. Time out. This is where Mark Zuckerberg was like, yo, hold on. I'm cool with like opening in uh, like more avenues on like um, for Facebook. Like he's like, bro, you know what? We did it. Hey, I did it. Oh, he uh, admitted. He, I mean, he ain't about to lie. F- Facebook also had issues here with right here. like the uh, Facebook's uh, board of censorship are Chinese people. Shout out to the. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait! What? I didn't. I didn't read that in my. Yeah. I thought Mark Zuckerberg didn't own Facebook no more. Well, he. Well, well, he does. CEO. He does. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, anyways, so then you'll check my girl out. I looked at her up. Annie Coleman. Uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Annie. Uh, who Amy just got? Coney who Bear? just got elected to? Uh, ACB. Oh, Amy. Amy, Amy Coney. ACB. She just like she a full time Senate now, bro. Because you know Trump. She got voted in. The she Supreme got voted Court. in. Congratulations to her. But a lot of people don't agree with her because she's pro. Uh, abortion right she's, she's super pro- religious she's super religious and all that she for she's a beast though <clears throat> smart lady smart lady copy that right so boom check this out pro life she pro life yeah, that's what I, I i mean it's, it's like pro abortion i don't want it you know? and and the the right is uh pro choice usually because we got to turn it all the way. Okay, cool. Left is pro-choice. That's right. Yeah, sorry, left. Yeah, right. See, you you see how you confused me, Brennan? I studied it this shit. It gets dicey. God damn it. I'm damn done. And that was your news report. <laughs> 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 God damn it. <laughs> I did better. Yeah, I, had, I, had, one yet. I did my one yet. I did my eight parts of speech. Elevating. Exactly. They're elevating. I had prepositional phrases. Yeah, in I, I, yeah. yeah, you lost me at the to end. To me, it's like, just interesting. Like we know this Hunter Biden, Joe Biden stuff is corrupt, and you look at the daughter stuff now. It's I just. Yeah, that, that's what you want. I don't like either of these motherfuckers. That's mm-hmm. what you want as your president? Yeah. We know it's going to be compromised our relationship with China and Ukraine now, and he's going to be president. Mm-hmm. China and Russia is our biggest liabilities, and yeah. that's going to be our president. We know it's taking funding from them and funding yeah. his family and their businesses. Like, you just, it's a conflict of interest. Dude, I look, look at how you can do it. Deep and, the fact that, and the fact that they suppressed all that information, because I tried to Google it yeah, when you it, told me that it, day. I'll send you the links. New York, New York Post, which is 100 years old, is the yeah. one that got the information, mm-hmm. and they blocked their, their Twitter feed. Yep. So they couldn't get a hello Twitter world. Hello they blocked, <laughs> Twitter world. They blocked their Twitter feed, which is you're talking about a hundred year old magazine mm-hmm. that doesn't just post bullshit news. Mm-hmm. You're talking about legit news, but um, free press is not yeah, free press. It's just it, yeah, it's weird for the First Amendment where these mega social media sites decide what information is get out just to help Biden. Like it's insane. It's you just can't have that. It's too much. It's too way too much. And, and the but then they let all that bullshit run against Trump when he was trying to get mm-hmm. into presidency with Russia. Mm-hmm. All that collusion stuff. What's fine? What turns out is all the stuff they're accusing Trump of. Biden was doing. We have. We know for a fact. For a fact, and it's evidence. And then they're suppressing yeah. that information. Exactly. Oh. So that's why he's like. And then that's what Trump got this on is what Twitter. China today. and North Korea d- does to their people. They mm-hmm. only give them information that they want out. And it's not a democracy over there. Communism. It's Bro, communism. look at the information y'all dropping on me. It's but, a lot. But, right? the, I'm sitting here. I don't know it, what the fuck. It, but it's important, you know, because, yeah. dude, because oh, you on Twitter. Oh, you well, know. If, I'm not on Twitter. Well, it's important because what you got to realize is, like, it's this is how communism starts. Is when the media starts dictating what news mm-hmm. to sway your opinion. Mm-hmm. Like, we, if you don't have all the facts, it's a big deal, man. That's why I read or how they, Or how Spotify, they're trying to. They can't. How they want to censor Joe Rogan. I was just about to like, say. Hold up, mm-hmm, dude. Mm-hmm. If he wants to have these people on, you want to censor him. Based, you just want the news that you agree with out. You can't have that. Oh, that's yeah. not. That's why. That's why America is the greatest place on earth because it's freedom of speech. It's yeah. not communist over here. It's like, not. You know, you know what communism is? It's like with everybody over there as one. It's like you can have like you can be a doctor. Dictators. It's dictators. And I, we don't live by a dictatorship. We don't like. You know that's what China is for. I like it, Malik. Copy that. Good job, Malik. Good job. Appreciate All you. Right. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Shit. Uh, well, first one's from Chappelle, actually. Yeah. 
Oh uh, shit! You got a current event? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a current event. Okay. Well, I didn't read the fucking article, but okay, okay. you know. Well, you ain't got to curse. Man. That was aggressive. Yeah. Look at my man. Speaking oh, Busta. Bo- speaking of Botox, just he got just, just, kidding. Kidding. <laughs> just kidding. He looked good. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, his hey, face are exactly go, the same. Go. Uh, uh, nah, not no more. Whoa! Look at that transformation. Sheesh! Whoa! Look at that transformation. Hey, read the caption, G. This show, it's your current event. Don't ever give up. Come on, you're gonna have to make that bigger. You said article. This is a fucking instagram post dude no it's i mean what's the current thing everyone was talking about it uh don't ever give up on yourself life begins right now my dedication is different i would never put out an album and not be in the best shape of my life i respect myself too much and i respect y'all too much i'm only here to inspire le to the wrath that's his name this is this is album ele to the wrath of god dropping pre-order pre-order is who's pre-ordering thank you coach victor munez Thank you. <laughs> okay, no, we got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, but my, I read my, the shout outs. I know, right? Uh, my, my, my point is, yeah. look how fat that motherfucker was. That's pretty And then big. look what he got to. Mm-hmm. You but don't think we can make that happen? I think you that can. That dude had a triple chin. Um, I don't know if we can make it happen. That's the we past. can. Yeah, strict dieting. Did you, has your boy come up with any plan? Yeah, he has. Where well, is well, it? Well, 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 first of all, what what is what are we trying to do? Lose What's weight. Our, okay, we're trying to lose weight. Or what is the challenge? What's the challenge? The le- who can lose the most weight by the end of January? By the end of January. So that's February first. Yeah, because I'm sitting here. I don't know what to say to him because I was just like, what is our challenge? So no, f- November. So we'll start in November. We'll start November first. So November through February first. Who can lose the most weight? November. November first to so it's, what was that nine so basically ninety days ninety day challenge ninety day fiance challenge <laughs> yep ninety day fiance I love how you just ninety put day that the other way ninety day the other way <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> the other way shit Wait, hashtag yeah, ninety yeah, day okay. the other way well, okay we, okay we'll go, well, how much you weigh right now two sixty okay oh be honest well, no we need the pictures of the weight scale on Instagram ah, no we don't I trust them oh. no we can I'll we can do it you come to the crib but I gotta give you gear anyways okay yeah so I'll come to the crib. We'll weigh in. We'll weigh in. We'll start from that day. We'll start from that day. All right. This, this so I can have Chick Fil A today. Sure. Starts November first. Do whatever you want. Okay. I just went on vacation, so I'm probably two sixty one. I bet. Yeah. Okay. And this, I'm probably this. like two fifty something. Yeah. Oh, also, I had a uh, at five eleven. A quote. As you, we both got to lose weight. I know we both got to lose weight, but we can make it happen. And on the road, we have to hold each other responsible. I think I we will. can do it. I will. Yeah. I think I we can if do we're together, road. we'll be fine. Yeah. Jay's trying to lose weight too, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Jay would, and Jay Stevie only eats eggs. Yeah, yeah, so Steve, yeah Stevie, him. he fucking he gets a he gets food uh, the groceries delivered. <laughs> yeah, he just be crib. cooking himself. You don't really eat bad. No, I don't. The only don't person eat that eat bad is Justin. Let's just be honest. No, I eat bad. No, Ju- Justin eat a lot of shit, dude. If he you does? give me a reason to eat bad, I'll eat bad. Oh, same. I'll eat bad. Same. Oh, I had a quote. But since my, November 1st, I'm going to go nuts. <clears throat> I'm no, making my girl ass chicken thonga tonight. Oh, for real? Chicken thinga. Yeah, we have to do it November 1st. Because let me, let me ride out well, this Halloween's week. coming. Yeah, let me. I, yeah. Okay. Saturday, okay. kids' pizza party. Yeah. 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 November yeah, 1st. Excuse me. November Look. 1st. Okay, that's the challenge. That is November 1st Monday? Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, so. it's Sunday. Oh, yeah, because Halloween's on Halloween Saturday. Is on so Saturday. Sunday. Start so Sunday. Sunday. Easy does it. Easy peasy. Japanese. Yep. Mmm. Okay. I also had a quote for my current. Oh, you still leader. on your current event? Well, no, I just, you I, did good. Don't fuck it up. Well, no, I just, <laughs> had, this, I just had this quote, and I wanted What's to read. What's the quote? It's yeah. <clears throat> Who's the quote from? First of all, it's yeah. from Andrew Hamilton, uh, seventeen thirty-five. Okay, okay. Right. He goes, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew okay. Hamilton. And not, not Anthony. You're probably thinking of Anthony Hamilton. I thought, I thought <laughs> Alexander. Well. Alexander Hamilton, but okay. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> it goes. Tyrus injured. <laughs> oppress the people under their administration, provoking them to cry out and complain, and then make that very outcry the foundation for new oppressions and pers- persecutions. Oh then he goes, "You like where? <laughs> where did you get that from? Hold on, I know y'all confused. Yeah, I got it from. Read. Yeah. I got it from the trial of J- John Peter Zinger. I don't know who that is, and he was a colonel. I don't know who that is. <laughs> colonel." <laughs> Colonel, he's a colonel. Okay, Colonel. Well, this isn't a quote. This is a paragraph. Yeah, right. Gee, what the hell you want me to do? I like it better when your legs were like this, though. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Yeah, I'm not Go doing that. Legs, I'm not doing that. I messed Put it up. Did I, mess it up? Did I mess yeah. it up? Did I mess it up? Like I failed it. I'm not. Well, Gee, now you just trying to say, give me. It was solid until the end. It was solid. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, I apologize. It's good. Rhymes losing weight inspired us lose some weight. What else you got, Cat? We got this. So here's an update to the guy who the scooter, the scooter trick who didn't make it. This is an updated video. So this is the one that we watched. <laughs> Dead. 
Oh, he's okay. He's okay. And this is him a couple days ago. What happened? He pulled it off. Hold on. Was there a second one on there? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You, you, hit yeah. you hit it. Watch. Just keep it playing. He's, he's, oh, play. he's wearing a different shirt. That's the first one. Now, Brendan, watch. Never give up. That boy is so thick. Never Look give up. Precious on a scooter. Never give up. <laughs> oh. He pulled it he off. He pulled it off, dude. He's a champion. And I wrote that dude. What did you say? I, I told him, uh, I think I said congrats. That's it? Congrats yeah. <laughs> on what? I congrats with like a bunch of exclamation points. That's mm -hmm. it? I'm happy for that guy. Well, you That's didn't awesome. say that? Oh, Yeah, what do you want me to say more than congrats? He did it. Congrats Incredible. is good did enough. He respond, did he respond back? No, I'm waiting on it. <laughs> Ex-Patchy. Whatever the hell his name is, oh, I, think, I think it's X underscore X uh, uh, dot underscore Patchy. And he's also, I think he's from the UK. Well, it's three Y's, so it's like Patch A. Patch A. Yeah. Patchy X Patchy. Good for him for landing it. Yeah. What else shout you got? Out to, shout out to that thick boy. So, a um, group of Kazakh. How do you. Kazakh. <laughs> so Kazaka American Association actually denounced Bo Rat 2 for coming out and they penned a letter to Amazon telling them basically that they want an apology and for Amazon to pull the movie because they don't like that Bo Rat is going around making up these stereotypes about Kazakhstan and giving them a bad image. They say, why is our small nation fair game for public ridicule? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, no one, uh, Sasha uh, Baron Cohen. This is what he wants, right? He want, He's yeah, like polarizing. He, he wants all these headlines. Like the. I you, watched it last night. Did you see? The, was it any good? I was cracking up. He's funny, man. It's I, just funny. It's just. Uh, it, there's. I mean, well, the, he means he, no harm. Like, yeah, I don't know. Because like Rudy Giuliani, like the thing they did with him. What happened with that? Oh, was yeah. Was it legit? Was it legit? That was not? legit, and it was kind of crazy. It's not he legit. saw it, though, right? I saw it, too. Oh, you saw it? I, I saw the... Uh, the clip? The Rudy... Uh, Rudy uh, it was, was kind of... It was kind of... Uh, nah, they I set mean, him up, because he like they're like, oh, he was he was sexual, that girl touched her back, he pat her on the back, and then when he yeah. gets on the bed, because he's fucking 80, he's taking the mic, he took his mic off, and the shirt came out on, so he's it 80 looks like with he's, a bad yeah. back. He's tucking his shirt in like this. And they're like, oh, he's jacking off or doing something. No, no, so that was a little iffy. But I mean, as far as him asking the girl for a number and then going to the room with her, it, was there anything weird with that or no? no? I, 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 it, it was a bad headline. It was, it was it's, a, it's a stretch. I, I okay. think it's a it reach. Was, it was, it was, uh, it was pretty. <laughs> Two different opinions here then. Yeah, my okay. girlfriend, I I, my I girlfriend and I were watching it last night. And when that part came, we were like. You, both of y'all just Yo, tensed up. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it, that was tensed the part up. that made me. Brendan, really did you tense up? up? Or you didn't care? No, I no, I I saw what the the, headline? the far right or far left did, and I'm like, oh fuck, yeah, Rudy's in trouble, work. man. Then I watched. I'm like, this is what everybody's. Yeah, it was. It was. I mean, yes, about? it was it pushed. Shit. Mm. It was pushed to make it happen. Of course. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. So like, I took it as just comedy i'm gonna check it out you know what i mean i took it that's what sasha baron cohen wants but then yeah he asked for censorship on fucking alex jones and other people so oh, it's like did? dude you want to yeah. play both it's like you you want everyone to be all good with what you're doing but then because you don't like what this person says you want to censor them yeah it's, it is kind of like i can't I just your, took, i can't be your friend i can't yeah. fuck with you anymore i just it's took like, it strictly for comedy i didn't take it beyond what was just shit was just making me. You laugh. know, you know, Trump and him got into it over Twitter. Y'all know that, right? Sasha Baron Cohen. Him? No, no, the, the, the guy Giuliani. Yeah, Giuliani. No, mm. oh, well, Trump I mean, and Giuliani. They're, they're, that's his. That's Trump's lawyer. Who's the guy in Borat too? <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen. Cohen. Yeah, that, that guy. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> sure. it, that that part was a little. It'll make you tense up if you haven't seen. But the remember, clip yet. remember, it's edited. It's designed to make him look bad. But even in that, I don't see an issue with it. Mm -hmm. What I mean like, yeah, with Giuliani, like there's nothing there. Again, it's taking focus on Biden and fucking Hunter Biden in collusion with Russia and Ukraine. That's real shit, dude. Section we know for a fact that is real, man. Yep. Yep. Section two. And again, I don't like e I don't like either motherfucker. Me neither. Yeah. But when you look at that, it's like I, I can't vote for that. Yep. And you want to raise my taxes? Yep. One more question about that scene, though. So I, because I only read about it. Yeah, and it, it says was, that <laughs> I was like, oh, it's supposed to be no, like she's supposed to be known as a fifteen-year-old girl. Did he have any idea that she was? 15? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, that's not at all. Obviously, in, in the and the actress isn't. No, she's older. 15. She's like she's 24, 25. Yeah, she's like twenty something. Yeah, but still, I mean, like. Listen, okay, I, I watched this strictly for the fact of it just being comedy. Yeah. I didn't want to take it any further than like this is some, you know political shit or like this is making fun of a country that like I don't, I don't look at Giuliani different I don't look at the country that he was portraying different I don't Kazakhstan. look at any of different I just 
he, took his here's, strictly. Here's the thing about Giuliani. Everybody wants to shit on him because he's Trump's lawyer now and they're saying he says crazy stuff. But, but let me put you on game on uh, Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani is the greatest mayor New York's ever had. When he became there, New York was a shit show, dude. New York was dangerous. Times Square was dangerous. It was run by mafia. He went in there and, and incorporated the RICO Act. And cle- he made New York what it is. He made New York safe. He made Broadway safe. He got rid of the mafia in New Broadway York. Broadway were the... Yeah, it, Broadway used to do shows and people would run out before because it was so dangerous around there. Not anymore. He cleaned it up. And like with mafia guys, they could never catch the boss. They because they always have like, you know, their their lower level guys doing all their shit and they could catch them but they could never get to the boss. So the Rico Act made it whoever gave him orders from the top would get charged with it too, so they'd all get charged. So he cleaned up the city, man. Rudy Giuliani is a fucking beast. He could have ran for president. When remember how big of a deal he is when September 11th happened and the way he deal, dealt with it, his rating was through the roof. Mm. Y'all must have forgot. Everybody wants to shit on Rudy Giuliani. He was a beast. Man. Everybody, you talking about everybody? I don't, I don't even know the dude. Yeah. Really? Oh, be, dude. People make fun of him now because he's Trump's lawyer, but he's a he was a motherfucking beast. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sasha Baron Cohen also came out and said that the whole reason oh, he came why out. He, uh, not oh, out, out like that, out. but like he made a statement. Uh, he made a statement saying that he chose the country uh, Kazakhstan because most Americans don't know much about it. So it's easier to get people to say stupid shit that then shows their bias towards the Middle East and stuff like that. And Kazakhstan has gotten so popular because of Borat that they started to make like a whole section of their tourism campaign with the phrase, very nice. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. It's nice. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's, yeah. He's so funny. Funny. And then think about advantage. it. Like when the when he when Borat one came out, no one freaking was sitting here writing a shitload of articles. Or, because that's he, what I'm saying. He, because he didn't get that it. political. He he didn't go after. It wasn't Trump. political in that first one. Not really. It Not wasn't really? going after like now his agendas to shit on Trump and our society and stuff. Yeah, oh. this one is much more political than the first. I'm gonna check it out. He I got, can't remember the first one because it was so long ago. I remember I mean, he got Ron uh, Ron Paul. Ron I voted Paul, for Ron right. Paul back then. He got him in a room and did some like I guess just some weird shit. Some stuff, yeah. Ron Paul, who was that? He was a president candidate. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, but okay. yeah. yeah. I mean, twelve years ago, a while ago. I, was, I think Boy Everyone came out fourteen years ago. Then did so there. Live in there. Yeah, whatever. What else you got? All right. So this was submitted by Joey Ramona on Fuck, Instagram. Yeah. They Let's want go. us to react to Jean-Claude Van Damme's Instagram page with this video as the start. All right, let's see. It's just him kind of vibing out. Yeah, hi, shit. You want to see the smile? <laughs> I'm very happy. I was not that. I was uh, thinking, um, I was focused. What? Because I love a guy talking to me. Find a solution. Uh, tomorrow it will be announced. But be happy because the solution is there. Can you believe that? Yes. Not from me. It's from me and. A group of people who are fantastic that you're going to love. And also something else which Hell is yeah. very powerful right now. Yeah. His eyes. And yeah, he's high. Yeah. No. He, dude, look at his eyes. Without, I know what I have. You never seen the documentary on Showtime? Triangle, you know, like three. Do a bunch of coke. Nine. It will work. I promise you, it will work. If not, I'm not worth to exist. Yeah. That's a nice little straight he threw. <laughs> cool little uppercut. This is like a two minute video. Oh, hell yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. shit. Oh, he dance oh, like my shit. uncle. Ooh. Hell yeah. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't yeah. get lost What's in up? the sauce. You heard him? He grew it. Come on, man. He I has okay. to be high. Hey, I have no fucking clue what he's talking about. I don't know what he's saying. That's how you talk to my uncle. I think he was on Instagram Live, and then they give you an option where you can save that whole Instagram <laughs> oh, Live video that. afterwards so you don't see the uh, comments and stuff. I think uh, that's who he's addressing. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. oh, that was him. Don't like that move. I like how he came in with it. Mm-hmm. That's somebody's uncle. Hey, uh, was this his last post or did he update it? Uh, I think he has two more posts after how that. How old one. is he? Shit. Oh, yes. To live forever. 60. Oh, he has a couple. Oh, damn. Oh, he's 60. Yeah. 60. Oh, look. I love That's a dope B Day picture. <laughs> oh, good uppercut. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, you know that leg can get up there. Do that. Hold on. Play that again. Um, between one. 
bro. You didn't know that leg can get up high. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he landed it. Hard. He saw the next day. Between 1,000 to 1,500 gallons a day, which is about six to 7,500 liters Someone checked a day. Yeah, he's so if you Dude, want bro, to see more of him, he has a YouTube channel now. Oh hell yeah! He said, oh, about what? He said what? I don't know. It just Vin Diesel, Diesel need a collab. <laughs> oh yeah, Vin oh, Diesel shit. is trying to get on TikTok now. Say less. He doesn't show his subscribers either. Oh, you can show it. Yeah, you can choose. Mm -hmm. oh. But this, that's a good amount of views. Two hundred thousand. I thought that was Harvey from Damn. TMZ. <laughs> wow, interesting. Oh yeah, Damn, his face so does what, look like it. Yeah. So what is he just? He's really high? I don't know. I assume so watching that. crazy. Yeah? I'd say crazy. he's high. Yeah. Damn. When you get high, you just be talking about anything. <laughs> oh, man. I, that, so? oh, he, has, he has a music video. Wait, wait, I think wait, we talked does? about it a while yeah, ago. We did? Did we? Yeah. 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 Did we did. Music video? Yeah. 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 We did. Yeah. Right, you said you that? wanted to recreate it at one of your oh, uh, yeah. tours. Right. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> um, so this was sent in for you, Brendan, from Tim uh, Barnett on Instagram. Your boy Zach Baggins from Ghost Adventures is okay. selling the Los Feliz uh, Charles Manson murder house Jeez. for two point two million. Oh, he yeah. owns that house. Yep, Dude, the guy Zach from Ghost Hunters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zach Ballin, man. It's selling for two point two shit. Wow. So that that was the that would have been uh the murders after Sharon after. Tate. After. So they yeah. killed Sharon Tate and then later went to this house. Mm -hmm. And it was ooh, a, it was ooh. a husband and wife. They weren't like anyone famous or no. anything. They decided they just want to keep the chaos going. It is a beautiful house though. That place is dope. Haunted, but, but no one haunted as shit, but it, did he did he take a tour of this on Ghost Hunters? I'm sure if he owns it. Mm -hmm. You know what Zach Baggins did? I almost sent you guys the current event. He went to the uh, Joe Exotic Tiger Ranch uh -huh. and did a uh, ghost adventures there. And I guess haunted as fuck. Really? From like people or I like haunted Because he doesn't animals. have that land anymore. Joe Exotic, right? I think the go the government might have took over. Mm -hmm. They sold it to the one homeboy took over and then he got mm -hmm. fucked. Dude. Yeah, who's going to buy that Manson house though? I don't know. Somebody who's really into stuff like this. I'm really into it. I don't want to own the house though. Yeah, because of because of the. How many you want to buy it and like rent spirit? it out as like a haunted Airbnb? How many I'm people? Sure, I'm sure they've redone it. Though, yeah, right. Like, it, there's no way it's still know. the same house from the set early, early. I don't 60s. even know if it's necessarily a home that he lives in. It it almost seems like the way the article is written, it's like a novelty house. I don't want that bad juju. Mm -hmm. No way. No. That's probably why you're getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Straight up exotic animal. Oh yeah, that's Joe Exotic's thing. Mm -hmm. I was talking to this girl from Ohio this weekend, mm -hmm. and she was uh, telling me that, like, when she she lives in Ohio, remember, like, in what nineteen ninety six, all his animals got loose that day. Did they show that in? Documentary? Oh, they showed that in a documentary. Yeah, yeah. And bro, and bro, but I don't think it was Joe's. It was someone else. It was, was another. It, it was just Joe's. Oh. She said it's Joe's. Oh, and she. Um, and what she say? I just want to bring awareness to it. Oh, oh. there's no end to that story. Okay, oh. <laughs> the, the, that club I performed at in uh, Tampa, Side Splitters. They said Carol Baskin would go there all the time to watch shows. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, I don't know why people give a fuck about that lady. I know. She came out as bisexual. This Again, I don't give a fuck. Wasn't that one of your current events? No, it was his. I don't give a fuck. Why are you looking at me crazy, though? I mean, that's not news, is it? Is it? How's she doing on Dancing with the Stars? She got off first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you saying that? Why you got <laughs> attitude with this one? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't get her. You know, she killed her husband. We're all celebrating this bitch. I know, right? Like, She's can you like, imagine they put by. OJ on Dancing with the Stars? They put OJ on the Dancing with the Stars? No, I said imagine no if they did. Though. Like, it's no different. I think it'd be a lot more exciting. I think, I think that much. What if oh, he can dance? Works. What if he wins, though? His footwork? Come on now. You're right. Mm. Come on, Skip. Oh, he's got no. footwork? <laughs> oh, I've never seen his highlights. It's I don't interesting. Know his... Oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. 2,000 yards, man. Bro, he so much that he got away with murder mm -hmm. <laughs> if you think about how good say talented less. that is damn say less what else you got <laughs> can you guys look up for a second what hold on Chappelle, brother? all right now look do you know who this guy is uh, yeah yeah it's uh uh ryan yeah how ryan crazy Seacrest. does look now that's ryan seacrest he dyed his beard what happened i have no idea he just looks very very different to me <laughs> american well, idol american idol the well, host? his face is a little yeah why he like that yeah. i used to have a friend who's an assistant and she said um, someone left a cu cupcake in the room and he freaked out because he, he doesn't eat carbs. Uh -huh. He freaked the fuck out because they had a cupcake on the table. <gasps> oh, this the what? dude. He's like, everybody get out. And then he just stared at Why the Why does cupcake. he look so different? I don't know. This is this the dude does from he the look Kim different, Kardashian. Though? He's oh, totally no, he, different to he me. Redo, he redid his hair. To me, this looks so different. 
almost like he's and then like kind of transitioning in a way that's the that, that's the kind of look that i know transitioning <laughs> yeah what you mean like a bruce jenner transition type of thing yeah yeah to caitlin jenner yeah well, isn't he, he about married? to be a woman no no I'm, he's, not, he's not doing anything like that i'm just saying that's the kind oh, of look kind that of i see oh you know, it, it almost looks like fake facial hair in a way oh, oh this, God, I, I, think, I think it's died i think his mm. facial hair's died looks ridiculous mm -hmm. yo the post <laughs> is weird 20 second sprints 10 second breaks on repeat for 25 minutes my shirt is drenched in sweat and tears this lady, I think she's from or uh, Real Housewives of Orange County, goes, keep this content coming. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, then Kelly Ripa lights him up. Who's I worked with Kelly. She's fucking brilliant. Wants a she shirt? put, that's nice, sweetie. P.S. Lola wants her shirt back. That's her daughter. Oh, uh, damn. Yo, these comments, is like Kelly you Ray's read funny. them, dog, it's so funny. <laughs> I don't know who Lola is, but I just imagine. That's her daughter. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Ripa's a beast. She is. Super yeah. smart. Right. Yeah, she, uh, she used to be on uh, All My Children. Did you ever yep, watch that? Yep. And then she hosted, uh, well, she still does the Kelly and uh, Ripa show, right? Who's she with? Strahan? No, she, her and Strahan hated each other. You know that? They Are you serious? Strahan did. Oh, I heard those rumors. Her and Strahan hated each other. Really? I don't did she get, get did she get along with the uh, oh boy the old one before him Regis Regis, Regis? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Regis, Regis was straight. super close and then now it's Ryan, her and Ryan Ryan Seacrest yeah. oh. Ryan does so much shit Ryan's a ball so you know Ryan mm -hmm. found the Kardashians started the show showed the Kardashians yeah. so he got because of the sex tape. No, he just thought the family was interested and decided to start a reality show. Wow. He's a beast. He's worth so much money, but he continues to work crazy, crazy hours and days. He is? Yeah. He does radio every morning. If you listen to the radio while mm -hmm. you're driving in, he's the- Is he the white Nick Cannon? Yes. Way bigger Nick Cannon. Mm -hmm. but he Nick has Cannon little... is a different version of him. Nick okay. Cannon would be the black version of Ryan Seacrest. Ryan okay. Seacrest, beast. Damn, okay. I didn't know that. He was a host from American Idol. I knew, I knew that. You know, what's, knew. you know what's funny about American Idol is him and another host, yeah. and the other dude was like, ah, this gig yeah. sucks. And <laughs> I remember. It was a duo. Oh, yeah, and Ryan really? was like, Oh, they yes. were a duo? Yeah. And Ryan was what? $430 million? He's probably, not even, he's probably worth more, too. Probably more than that. Sheesh. Yeah. He's killing it. He was on a dating show at first, remember? He did a dating show where oh, he was a right. host. Yeah. I forgot what it was, though. What, next? <laughs> so, no, that was a good show. That was a great show, by the mm -hmm. way. That's the only wow, show, I didn't man. know he was rolling like that. Yeah, he's, he's super. What's up, so, Ryan Seacrest? It's that Kardashian money, though. That's that. That got to be the Kardashians. They bring anytime you with a Kardashian. Look at Jordan Woods. Nobody. Now she make. She but they weren't Woods. before. Oh. Like he's the one who produced the show. It's his idea. Like oh. he's a beast. He's so a he already master. had money before he started. You're, you're the production house of it. You know, you're making bank. And the ideas too. Yeah, the, the ideas. ideas. Yep. All right. How old is he? How old is he? Like uh, in his forties, I think. No, 40s, oh, forties, mid forties. <clears throat> Forty-five, dude. Oh, he's so young. Good for oh, he's a day after my birthday. That's why he's successful. <laughs> I get it. G. He's a Capricorn. Huh. All right. Um, they say we like moons. And shit. This is from Crazy One Designs. Okay. This is how cool is this? Chin <laughs> 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 segment. Chin <laughs> segment. Chin <laughs> segment. How cool is this? Wait, did he just do it? All? Yeah. Oh, but made it much cooler. <laughs> do it How again. How often does he go to the water park? To I know to, to land that. First of all, Chin finds. <laughs> oh, no, no, someone sent this to me. <laughs> so that was pretty dope. Wow. And uh, I think, <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. This guy, uh, my boy Desi, go. He might know Jesus pro <laughs> personally. <laughs> and then Fabulous go. Cool Runnings. That was a great movie by Leon. Shout he should have won him uh, yeah. Oscar. Cat, you were mentioning this yesterday, I think. How Adele looks. Oh, yeah. Is Adele that, looks SNL? super different now. We all know that she's been losing weight because the internet lost their shit when they first saw photos, I think, almost People a like year ago. People were mad at her for losing yeah, weight. Yeah, because I think she came out or like her mm -hmm. trainer came oh, out yeah. and told everyone what diet she was on and it was very restrictive. So people gave her a lot of shit for it. For being, having discipline? Yeah, something basically. me and Chappelle can't do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people were just mad. Like, how dare you talk about her diet because it's so restrictive and it's triggering for people? Like, I don't know. It's, it's some triggering. Why like, stuff triggering my for face. people? Yeah. Listen, these people, need a, these people. people need to fucking take care of themselves. Yeah, shut your fucking yeah, why, mouth. Why, quit, quit eating. Quit, quit bringing Adele into your life. Mm -hmm. Adele's if a you have a problem now. and you're triggered, it's your problem. <laughs> Hello. It's not Adele's. Adele. Adele you know is dating saying? some huge rapper in the UK right now, too. Oh, Giggs, right? Black dude, right? Mm -hmm. no, no, the, wait, who? who? She's dating a black dude? I forgot Hell what yeah. his name was, but yeah, a black rapper over in the UK. He's right. pretty big. She, she was all really? thick and married to like this schlumpy dude and then divorced him, got all sexy and got mm -hmm. with a black dude. Was it was a British rapper? Skepta. That's uh, ASAP. Skepta? 
Bro, she down with the swirl. He got that old face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I'm talking Dude, about, I was about thinking of Ben, I'm talking about Skepta. So <laughs> we always try to ignore it, and Brendan's like, is he that what I'm talking about? Face. You know, we always think it, but this one. I know, he says it. Like, God damn. He got that old, old face, I know, he's huh? <laughs> I don't know where that man go. He got that forever tatted on his, his neck, so right. I respect him. He looks okay in that one. How old is he? Oh, right here too. She doesn't look great. Wait, how old is he? I don't know. Skepta. Nigerian rapper. Oh, Nigerian. 38. 38. And, she, and she's what? Bro, you're out your goddamn mind. You think I only look a year younger than him. <laughs> <laughs> she's 32. Well, that was He's probably a bad picture. That was probably Yeah, they probably picture. got bad pictures. No, nah, it's his face. It's whatever. Wait, what? I mean, he looks different right there. Yeah, well, those like, are old pictures. That looks like we got like early But that's more recent. This has to be Just more Just go recent. to his gram and we'll see his current ones. <laughs> Bro, that, that looks like see. a current photo. Let's see. No, no, it don't. I'm going to give my man some credit. Because, Brendan, what, you 39, right? Uh, 38, 37. 37, 37, yeah. 37. Okay. 37. Let's see what you look like. Current Can't right tell if this is old or not, but. Oh, nah, he looks better there. Yeah, see what's a bad? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Let me give my man a skeptic salute to my That was a bad picture. All right, salute. Yeah, super cute. But that was an old face, though. You can't tell. Can go These back pictures there. all look old, still. Nah, this is what? Nah, he looks nah, nah, yeah, yeah. filter. That ain't no filter. He he look at look your cat go. Yeah, he that actually, that, yeah. That's, that does like the that's Valencia. That's a badass ride now. Oh, yeah. shit, damn. You ever rode in a Rolls Royce? Oh, he rolls with ASAP Rocky? Yeah, that's his homie. He was on his album. Skepta was on ASAP Rocky. Oh, got it. Okay, so I just thought this was interesting. Um, this is in Russia, and this girl was stealing stuff and putting it in her underwear. So mm -hmm. she stole a bunch of different things and was able to shove it in her underwear. And the other thing that's weird about this is she's kind of bodied up if you look at her. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to see that. What type of underwear was she wearing? I have no idea, yeah. but you'll see. Granny panties? Old. And they're not together, by the way. So she that's like, like a drink, right? Oh, oh she put it in between her tits. Is that why they look so big? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's no, I think her tits are already up. big, big, but then. But then see, look, she shoves it. That's like a I'm milk carton. Damn. Does her body show up after Damn, she this? She don't have any money, huh? That's another thing. I don't. I can't imagine. That's a bummer. She, does, she doesn't look like someone that would be poor. If that sounds, <laughs> she's stealing like that. I love how yeah. Tim was like, "Yo, she bodied up." I know. Yo, she we up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, girl, if you look at this. We showed you Jordan Woods, <laughs> <laughs> and you give us this flat ass print. <laughs> she's not flat. Look at this. What do you mean she's not flat? Look at her. You give us this print built like the Cookie Monster. <laughs> Dude, she's got a booty. <laughs> <laughs> she built my like my legs, and you yeah, over here talking yeah, about yo. Right. She bodied up. <laughs> Hope you guys are ready for this body that <laughs> bread. <laughs> Brendan, I, think I learned how to pick about this before. His version of bodied up is very different from everyone. Very, he's like the, he was like the curves on Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> baby got back. <laughs> 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 How about the tits on this guy? <laughs> oh my god, yo, that's so funny. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> She's bodied up. Yo. He did. How he cool did. is that? Yeah, yeah. Yo, How cool is that? <laughs> he did come in hot when he, he was like, yo, listen. I was ready for some you know, Some ass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ass and titties. <laughs> Okay. Shout out to 21 Savage. Oh, good. Ass and titties. I don't oh, know how old man. this is, but uh, yeah, so oh. torn his ACL. Here's what's weird about this super uh, football dive here, so whatever. But uh, B Baker Mayfield's uh, better when um, he's out. Mm. Okay, but, but because he's so focused on getting the ball to uh, fucking Odell Beckham, he misses a lot of other reads and stuff like that, and his interceptions go through the roof. So he's actually a better player when Odell's out. I'm an Odell mm. fan. He's one of my favorite players, but I'm just saying if you're – Cleveland fan, you shouldn't be too worried. That's one game, Brendan. He they, they, hey, they beat the Bengals. Bengals. What is, so <laughs> what is that? Is that, that, that bad? Bengals. <laughs> okay, listen, They're also the word. Bengals. Bengals. Hold on, hold on, put Bengals? Like Bengals? Bengals? What did I say? B-E-N, not A-N. Bro, where Bengals. are your chemical yeah, bars? Just, just put, the, put them down. Oh, you want to put them? Oh. Yeah, put them down real quick. What you, uh, what, you uh, saying about, what you were saying about like the... Listen, he only did that He only did that hell of a game one time. No, I'm telling you, overall, season for season, it's, he's better when Odell's out of the game but that's because he's too messy. focused on him. Okay. Now okay. you got Landry. You got a bunch of other tools, too. Okay, well, know. let's put it like this. And if he sucks this the rest of this season. Oh, he, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So he just oh. ruined that man's career for no well, we'll reason. See. Okay. All right. Shout out to OBJ. Yeah, I'm LSU represent. He's one of my faves. Yeah. I don't know anything about him, so. Mm -hmm. Stud. Man, he just, he listen, the guy threw an interception. And he loves to win. He could have easily gave up on a play, but he was running, trying to get 
the guy. He was in run like DK Metcalf, a Monday Night Football. No, you see, yeah, yeah. Oh, you pull that up. He chased him down off a of Russell Wilson interception. Yeah. And Metcalf that boy was like 6'5", 240 pounds. Bro, and the little dude, what was the guy? Uh, Shout out to the Cardinals, man. Uh, it, was, it wasn't Patrick Peterson, was it? No, no hell no. Okay, he like, caught Peterson. He had a, okay, uh, this young guy, cornerback. I'm talking about he should was. Should have been a touchdown. Should have been a touchdown. It was crazy, yeah. From in, so they're in the end zone, right? He Russell ran 115 Wilson. yards and tracked this dude down. Dude, booked it. Booked it, dog. Booked that should have been. We got to do like highlights of the of the week. That's a highlight of the week. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Is that it, Chin? That's pretty much it. Well, know. we are in Phoenix next week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Shows are almost sold out. Phoenix, Arizona. Stand up live with this crew and a special guest. Phoenix, Arizona, November 5th through the 7th. Then Nashville, also almost sold out. We're going to add extra shows, so don't sweat it. Oh, shit. That is Zanies in Nashville, uh, November 19th, 21st. Also special guests there as well, including these boys. And then Boise, Idaho. Uh, let's sell that bitch out so we add another show. That is December 5th in Boise, Idaho. It's actually right outside Boise, but you get the idea, Boise. Close enough. Boise, Idaho is December 5th, all right? Phoenix next week, Nashville, uh, November 19th, 21st. Boise, December 5th. Tfatk.com for tickets. Thick Boy Gear, we just posted, uh, restocked the jerseys. We'll have new stuff dropping next month. That's thickboy.com for everything thick. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on. Ha 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 ha. Chappelle Lacey. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, that's Chappelle. me. Yeah. Uh, merch. ChappelleLacey.com. I know. I'm going to get it to you. I swear to God. I got, I got you. Uh, and then uh, tour dates. I'll be headlining my hometown uh, Thanksgiving weekend, November 27th through the 29th. Uh, those tickets are on sale. Go to ChappelleLacey.com. Uh, come hang out with me and bring a turkey. Uh, actually, you, you know, I don't really fuck with turkey like that. I hate uh, bring, turkey. Bring, uh, what is that? Uh, stuffing. Stuffing. Well, I like, stuffing. I, I like love turkey. stuffing. I, like I fuck with stuffing. Right, you I'm, not a, big, I'm not a big Thanksgiving guy you like at all. I don't really sauce? fuck with holidays. You like what? cranberry? Yeah, the cranberry sauce with with this. What do you mix it with? The yeah, stuff it's and nice. Stuff? And then come the gravy. on, now. look at us being thick, <laughs> bro. We that's gonna be tough on our diet. <gasps> that's gonna be real I was tough. About to say, but we could get like the oh, turkey. cheat meal. No, you can do a cheat meal. Oh, we can do a cheat meal. Talk to your boy about cheat meal. Yeah, oh. come on now. Come on, Skip. Wait, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> can you type in MalikBShop.com? What? MalikBShop. Me, 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 me and Jay. Me and Jay. Look at look at what we did. Shout out to the website. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Did I just crack me? <laughs> Jay, Jay said it was ready? Yeah. <laughs> Jay lied. Yeah, no, Jay was like, oh, it's totally oh ready to go up there. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no. I'm my bad. MalikBStore.com. All oh, right. Oh, that's okay. bad. There you go. Okay. 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 All right. Damn, you gave the wrong website. I, I didn't know. Right? We, 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 we didn't know which one we was going to go with. What? What? Malik B store? Are you saying Malik B? Are you spelling it? It's M A L I K. Yeah. Okay. B, B store. store. Yeah. Dot com or dot something else? Um, it's dot com. It's dot com. It's the real one. Yeah. Still not working. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh, I'm sorry. What? Dot big cartel dot com. Oh, that's it's big not the fake cartel. Yeah. Why don't you have uh, dot com? There you go. Oh, there there okay, there it is. Yeah, there don't we go. Don't get lost in the Let's sauce. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Malik. We got, we got the new. Can you hear me not to hear me? Come on, man. Can you hear me not to hear me? Those are dope. Okay. Again, where the fuck is my merch? We got oh, we, you. We, we it's got on the way. That's what, it's, it's coming way. soon. It's coming soon. We can't yeah. even buy it. Well, hold on now. Well, it's, 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 well don't, don't go on the product. That's all we got. All right, all right. We still working on it. Double check. It's just like, it's like, it's like a. Malikbstore.bigcartel.com. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That is dope. Who's the model? Some dude that oh, yeah. I think they use like stock photos. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's a stock photo. <laughs> All right, please. There you go, man. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. See you in Nashville next week. Uh, that Phoenix. I think it was Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh my bad. Phoenix next week. I don't know where I'm at. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs>